Hello. It's Russia time. Yes, it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. We're going to go back over to the uh, greatest country ever made. <laughs> and One nobody of the has of ever all been. Time. Nobody has ever been happy here in the entirety of its history. So you know it's good. Well, no, they made like circular dancing and Tchaikovsky and shit. It was pretty the kind best of tight. books you ever read. The more depressed the people, the better the art. Yeah, it's, they, uh, honestly, it's, yeah. That's the correlation. Get this microphone pouring towards me. We're doing another one of these. We have this ongoing live plays we do. And we have a guest spot. This man registered this space long in advance. Uh, we have King Agreed, who has been on a few episodes with us already. He is playing a Wraith with us tonight. Del will reveal more details about the character when he appears in the story. I don't know if you're going to be in here for as long as Conrad Bradovich. It depends on how you play out, but given that your character is evil as hell, maybe not. But we'll see how it goes. I hope he dies. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a PC say that before about the character. This is the most evil player that I can play. This is the most type of evil person I can play. All right. Well, we I begin. Excited. I, immediately going from where we went off last time, uh, we have the, we have her as permanent resident of the camp now. We remember this character, right? I did not watch the last episode, so no. Uh, uh, well, that's okay. Not that many people did either. Okay. This also is Zamir's cousin, Nazgul. Where it turns out that's just a name in Uzbek. Where she's here, and she is a stargazer kinfolk that can supposedly compete and fight alongside a Geru and keep pace with them. She's that good of a warrior in terms of uh, human standards. She's Mulan, gotcha. And we have a fire spirit. Cool. There he is. It looks like he's made in Blender. He kind of does, actually. He's very shiny. That's just, that's just how he got generated. Okay. Is, right. he, is he only visible in the Umbra like most spirits, I imagine? You can kind of see like a figure in the fire if you look into it, which I would not recommend you do. Yep. But... Yeah, he, he's here, and yes, the Umbra is the easiest place to contact this guy. Good to know. All right, so we'll keep the we'll keep Green Path playing for just a little while longer. We're back in the field. We have decided that we're going to go to the Red Army Haunt next. Yes, we need supplies. All right. Is there anything that... I was so tempted to call you Tabitha. Is there anything that Ursula would like to do before she heads out? Mm, no, I'm good. Okay, everything's set. Get Shadow Lord Arun ready to go out and fight. Uh, soft paws. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, no. He does no spirits. Soft paws needs to talk to at the moment. Not All right. Get level two gifts. Kyle, do what you had in mind with Kindy. Uh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Uh, Kendi, I'm because uh, Shown is not here right now. Uh, I will ask to borrow uh, Vanya's rifle, and I'm going to take it and go out to where I saw the campfire earlier. Uh, is it safe to assume that Kendi has a pocket mirror? Yes, you 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 should you you are able to step sideways. It's not a pocket mirror. It is a just a straight up mirror that Zolneric lends you in order to step into Dumbra. Or actually... Oh wait, yeah, no, no, that's just a pack of cigarettes, never mind. I should get one of them yeah. fancy silver cigarette cases, that'd be funny. Yeah, the Zippo lighter? No, a cig no, like one of the, like, the tin cigarette cases and like keep it so finely polished I can use it to step sideways, oh, that'd be... Well, it's should... like that Johnny Silverhand cigarette case. Exactly, I should Park. do that shit. So, um, if that's the case, then yes, I'm going to roll Gnosis. Uh... What is my difficulty? Your difficulty to step in. This is not quite a cairn, but it is fairly wild enough of a space. I will say difficulty six. Okay. Fire. Let's see what you get. Alrighty. All right. With Zonarek holding up the quote unquote portal, you're able to step sideways. Okay. I assume because it's just a regular rifle, it does not travel with me. No, it does not. Okay, so it's there on the ground where I'm sta where I was standing before. Yeah. All uh, right. And I assume I see the fire spirit. Yes, King, would you like to play the fire spirit? Uh, sure. All right. Sure, sure. 
All right, so uh, just be loose. Do what you would assume a fire spirit would do. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so he just comes in, right? Yeah, you see, you see this uh, African man, Congolese, step sideways into the Umbra. He looks like a man that's been everywhere. He's got a, he's like an African man wearing American clothes in a Russian step. I um, float over to him and I say, so what are you doing here? I, I am, um, shit. I am ever burning timbers. And I watch over all the fires in this area. Who are you? Kendi Masimba. I am a Tiyaj, Silas Trader. I have come to ask a great favor of you. Oh. I look him up and down. Can I? Is, is your tribe obvious? Uh, Many. There, you got a choice between two werewolves when it comes to a black werewolf. Sot Strider or Tenna, take a guess. Hmm. Either way, both of those are more positive in in the spirit sense, so I'll actually hear them out. Go on. You see, this land is plagued with a worm. Why is my mouse double clicking? Stop double clicking! <laughs> and in order to purge the worm, we need the power of the fire. What rank of spirit am I at again? Let's see, what rank of spirit? Two. Okay, I all right. I can power many things, but only so limited. I am but a child, in human terms. Am I using it correct? Yes. No, no, that's me in character talking to him. Oh. I am but what you call a child. Got it. It does well, not... more like like teenager. <laughs> it he, does he doesn't not... really understand. He... Kendi's going to kneel down before the fire, before the spirit. It does not matter the age of the man. What matters is what he believes it can do. You can see over there, he's going to point at soft paws through the haze of the umbra. We have a very young girl with us, I says. And if he as young as he is can prove himself, I believe that you, you can do the same. Hmm. What is that you request of me? Kendi's going to step out of the way and gesture towards the rifle in the material plane. That is the weapon that I find the mine woods. It is play with the weaver. And I wish for you to burn the webs off and imbue a part of your ember in the chamber. Give him a stronger weapon of which to fight a worm with. I will do this, but only on the one condition. Whatever you may ask. Build me. I believe you call it burning statue. Build me something. A statue of worship to burn. And this shall happen. But I shall do this first. That's all I request of thee. A burning idol. And a burning idol you will receive. You have my thanks. I nod and I go about burning the uh, the webs off. Then I try to imbue it with All right. a moderate amount of my power. A moderate. All right, Candy. This will be a point of temporary no suspense. Go right ahead. I've got no shortage. All right. We have uh, not infused the spirit into the gun, so this is a talon you have at the moment. Okay. Yeah. As you see, on the side of the gun where the select fire would be. Single fire, uh, burst fire, full auto. There is now a fourth setting on the gun. Does it like uh, look glow at, red a little bit? Yeah, you see, it's like, like a red glyph of fire appears on this, um, on the settings. Uh, this is a, this is an AK one hundred and five that uh, Sean's character's been using, that uh, Ivan's been using. Okay, cool. So that's been. Like, uh, so, uh, to make an idol, I just have to sort of, like, build, like, a person out of sticks and then set it on the fire or just light it on fire? Uh, basically, you just have to build a statue, a wooden statue, and a representation of a fire dedicated to a fire entity, then burn it. And that should go across the 
gauntlet enough to infuse him with more power. Mm -hmm. I will begin work on it. I will be seeing Take you soon. Take your time. Oh wait, hold on, I should probably do this. After he does that, he lets out a giant exhale of energy and his fire seems smaller and he says, uh, you're welcome. And he just pretty much goes to sleep to recover that energy he put into yeah. the pot to the gun. As it, as it goes dormant in a campfire. Okay, so while he is resting, I'm going to step back sideways with the gun imbued, and then if we got some time, I'm going to try and get started building the effigy, or the uh, mm. idol. You may step sideways, while Gnosis. All right, difficulty yeah. six still? Yes. The only thing I will say to this one, to, to mid a game a little bit, if you, if you put a lot of successes into building this, it will make him stronger in the end. Oh, it will. cool. Uh, Ursula and Softpaws, to you it looked like the fire just got really bright and really hot for a minute, and then it's kind of died down. Uh, Softpaws would walk over to and just look at the middle of the flame after yeah. that. As uh, Kenny Masimba pops into reality. He's going to dust off the ash off of his already tattered and bloodied coat, and he's going to pick up the rifle and observe the sigil. So just like, take a look at it. It appears to be, well, it's like three uh, fingernail d uh, markings that have dug into the metal to form a triangle for the flame. Satisfied with his work? Sorry. I will get the flame going again. Give me one moment. And I will deliver the rifle back to, um, back to Bunya. Yeah. yeah to, to, to Ivan, who's enjoying a cigarette and a cup of coffee. Oh, uh, remind me the names of the uh, cousins here. That was yep. um, the, the uh, brothers Vigny and Casimir. Yeah, yeah, e Evgeny and Casimir. Yes. Vigny. Seeing they have uh, cigarettes on, the how much money do I have on me right now? Oh uh, yes, you you come to me. What kind of currency do you have in your pocket this time? More than likely rubles. I know to get a proper currency when I'm traveling. As you look into your pocket, you pull it out, you have European Euros. This work more anyway. <laughs> Spare pack of smoke. Mine is covered in blood. Yeah. He's gonna look at them. Uh, that looks good all right. See, this is about how many points of resources did you take? Did I take points and resources? I don't think uh, you two did. Two points and resources. Uh, you have two points and resources, okay. In this case is somewhere between one to 500 euros in your pocket. So roll d500? Yes. All right, roll. Let's see what you get. d500. All right. Oh, I'm fucking 200, loaded. 269. Evgeny right. will part with these for, this is pre-inflation. He'll part with them for about four, four euros. All right, I can lose, I can lose four bucks for a pack of smokes, sure. That's he's that... gonna he's gonna he's gonna hand you the prima cigarettes. Thank you, sir. He's <laughs> going to pull a cigarette out and oh wait, I don't have um Oh fuck, I don't have uh, actually since mine since my rifle or my I don't wanna have to roll the noses just to like light the cigarette. You yes. know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Roland and I'm going to um I'm gonna roll noses to get Roland's incendiaries. Uh, so, here, difficulty eight. Check, I think check that out what I can was. do. I just, I, well, why don't you just use Casimir's hot plate that he uses to uh, make his tea? Because this looks cooler. Damn it! Damn it. All right, All that right, was a difficulty seven. Actually, give me a sec. Yeah. See, you roll right. it. The barrel gro right. glows red hot as I'm going to put the cigarette to it mm. and light it with the barrel of the gun. Yeah, uh, Ivan's going to give you a little cross-eyed look. So, um, what is with the second? Uh, you, you went off with my gun for some reason? I saw during the fight, you were a good shot, but you were not doing a whole lot. I took uh, Ember from the fire spirit out there the bonfire, and I imbue it in your weapon. You now have a talent. It's going to look at Ah, single use, okay. I'll use it when it counts. That's my man. I think I, we're going to get I, going for a minute, but... 
to even spare twigs around. I need to beard uh, I do to restore the fire. All right. As you may go outside and see about making an effigy. Yes, there is wood to spare. Oh, sick. I'm along, gonna... with the, along with a few targets that are here already that you can use as a base. All right, sick. I'm going to... I'm going to get some stuff. I'm going to start getting to work on that. And in order to... Sorry I'm taking up so much time. I just yeah. want to get this done yeah. before we... Yeah, soft, yeah, soft, yeah, soft pause. What's Kenny up to? <laughs> yeah, soft pause would just be watching, like, curiously. Like, this, this looks like a weird human thing. This man, you homets, you weirdos. Uh, and for this, uh, that's focusing on a tool, but can I focus this on the uh, construction of the idol itself? Apecraft's, Apecraft's Blessing. Yes, make the roll. Wits and, wits and Craft. Wits and Craft, difficulty 7, and that'll, yes. reduce the, um, that'll reduce the difficulty of actually building the idol. So that is going uh, to be uh, Wits 3, Craft 2, so that's, D5, that's 5, D10. Uh, that is one, right. two, three successes. Right. Now, now follow this roll up with a wits and craft check. All right. Uh, no, we already did that. Uh, intelligence and craft. Intelligence check. and craft. Uh, what is your difficulty? Same roll. Uh, difficulty seven. Six. Well, since that difficulty six, I have three successes, so that's difficulty three. All right. Well, no, you make a second roll. Yeah, I know. That's Apecraft's blessing. Right. Uh, so. What's the first roll for then? The that... first roll was eight crafts blessing, uh, so yeah. it requires. Yeah, a yes, full... now make an now make an intelligence and repair roll right after that. Intelligence and repair, okay. Yes. So that'll be at for every um actually. Oh no, it just reduces yes. the difficulty by yeah, it one. It was difficulty seven, now it's so six. So it's difficulty six. Okay, so that's yes. intelligence and craft then. Alright. Alright. Intelligence Oh shit. Willpower. Alright. Well, you get zero successes as burning a burning a willpower on that. As, as you're as you're picking this up and moving it, you end up knocking the effigy over, and it just falls apart. And now we got to start all you over again. You said difficulty six, right? Are you sure you want to spend your willpower on this? Yeah, this is important. This is theory work. Soft pause and Ursula are right outside. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah, since the soft pause have. Yeah. Uh, Genos, Genos. Yeah, no, it's just, yeah. No, it's just shit. Soft pause. How spiritually You're a lupus that needs to be at least five. Uh, he's, he's got, yeah, four points. Yeah, I have four points in spirits. Yeah. Uh, if, you had, if you had six, the fire would actually look at you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, five points in spirits from my background. Yeah, yeah five permanent, four temporary. Yeah, if you had one more, the spear would actually look at you. <laughs> Y'all like this flame. So, soft pause, nurse. It sounds like Kenny's making a mess in the tent. Uh -huh. Check out. The fuck is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> soft pause would look around and Ngaru, because it's the only one he can speak, ask, What exactly are you doing? I tried to honor the fire spirit. He gave me power to make a talent for our glass walker friend. If any of you have steadier hands than me, which you might, I'd appreciate a little help. That would not be Softpaw's forte. He does not have anything in crap. Yeah. Ursula, are you too high and mighty to do something with your hands? Uh, I'm not especially, but I don't think I have any craft either. <laughs> nope, not a not a dot. Hold, hold, hold the knot still while um, Kenny tries to do the overhand. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm willing to to assist, but uh, I don't know how useful that'll be. Just uh, well, do not worry, because uh, Zamir has three points in craft. Oh, does he really? He actually does. Yeah. Oh, sick. See, let's see, five D ten. See, thank you, Samir. Oh, okay, I, with his help, he's able to. Uh, it, it comes over. Uh, you start building the effigy, and it looks okay. It's yeah, it's possible. 
That's easy to start. We have to do more later when we get back. Yeah. As you, as you get <laughs> this ready... You might have a rank 3 spirit helping you. Yes. If you... You get this, and you you pro what well, what's at the Red Army haunt? If you find like uh, a few like dead soldier uniforms and drape them over the effigy, that, that could do something. Yeah, oh, no, that's fucked up. Yes, <laughs> they're not using them anymore. I feel like <laughs> our rate would not like that very much. <laughs> Actually, no, that is a Viking funeral. That is something they do right. Well, you give up something that you have in order to make a spirit stronger. Kenny's gonna look around, and he's gonna look at, like, his tattered, you know, blood-stained, bullet-riddled jacket, and uh -huh. his hat with, like, a shotgun hole through it, and go, ah, The things I do for the spirits. He's gonna take off the coat, put it over the effigy, put the hat on it. And there we go, it's now an effigy that represents you! And so now his gun's sort of like dangling out in the open by his side. Yes. There it He's is. He's handsome you looking, know? isn't he? <laughs> See, we're going to call him Pete. Uh, what should I call this effigy? I learned from Fianna that if you name something that it wards away bad spirits, what should I name him? Uh, let's see. Swahili male. I would call him Cha Cha. Yeah, Cha Cha. I call him Cha Cha. The Cha Cha Sly? Uh, Cha Cha uh, means yeah. eagle. It, it's Urdu, actually. I right, got it. Yeah, so it's not Swahili, it's Urdu. So, close Got it. Right. You're a man who speaks many languages, after all. He, he has three points in intelligence and three in linguistics. He's been around. Yep. After all, how many different cultures and languages are in Africa? I think oh, there's shit. 15 known written languages in African. A, a whole heck of a bunch. At least 15. I know there's a whole bunch yeah. more that haven't, like, properly been, like, fully... Yeah. And there's, like, a thousand more dialects. Yeah, with as, as, as remote as it can be. Like, I, I have a yeah. friend of mine who I work with who's, who's from Tanzania, and he's been telling me a lot about it. Hence why I'm... Part of the reason that I'm playing... Kendi is that I, I have a frame of reference to an extent. He doesn't have go. an accent. He, like, he grew up in America, but he's been back multiple times. Yeah. And you get to follow the Tanzania Domino's Pizza account, where you have to defend a delivery car with an AK-47. I feel terrible uh, for that. Anyway. I, I, th I think it might be the Somalia ones. That I, there, there's some sort of Domino's one I saw that with. But also part of the reason that I made Kendi speak so many languages is how my friend from Tanzania described how the Tanzanians talk about the Congolese language. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the whole joke, but it was basically like 15 different African languages mushed into one. Uh, Hence why he mainly speaks Swahili. Uh, okay, so... Kendi's going to then take the effigy and stick it in the ground right over here. <laughs> All right. You stab in the ground. Fire spirit, you can see this through the umbra. I look at it, and I, just with successes alone, I'd be like, yeah, that's not even going to fucking get back the energy I did for that. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Kendi's just going to go. It, you can see him mouth it through the umbra. He's basically just going to mouth... We're going to work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry if I would derail this for a bit, but he's a spirit. He want he'll help, but yeah. he wants to get stronger too. Yeah. The, the spirits have very high standards in Werewolf. Yeah, they do. Yeah, That's but, why but, I was burning a willpower. It was yeah, a we, difficulty we, six, and I lost both we, of them. So I we, we, we haven't we haven't covered Axis Mundi yet, but we're we're going to in September. Yeah. If you would have yeah. failed, he would have made all the fires not cook any of your food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but thankfully Zamir made one, so. Yeah. so, so ho hopefully we can find something Red Army Haunt that can spruce even it up. If I, even that I gave up my clothes for it. Oh, that has meaning. Yeah, yeah. I gave up my, my nice jacket and my hat that, you know, I fought and got and got literally gunned down in the dirt for. <clears throat> Anything else you want to do here, or shall we continue off to Red Army Haunt? It has been 45 minutes since we started. Yeah, sorry about that. I kind of ate right. up that time. I'm going to shut the hell up right. now. That, now I've done the same with Insta Road. I can't say anything, and you can't either.
All right. It's, it goes somewhere when you do this. Because we have a we have a huge combat encounter set for this episode. Oh, cool. I get to use the time again more. All right. We get to prove just how deadly this combat can be. <laughs> Let's see. By the way, uh, Chainsaw Man released its latest chapter. What was it? 175? Um, where um, the rematch of the century happened, and we can't talk about it because Sean doesn't want any spoilers, but as per usual, it ends in one hit, and that was to be expected. Because I was going in and thinking this was going to be such a big damn fight. No, it ends in one panel. <laughs> I will say yeah, this one thing about right. Man. It, was, it was a good story, but it, it doesn't have the elements of the story function to make it last long. Uh... Uh, it's uh, it's it's coming up to like an apocalyptic event too. I so. think yeah, I think it's either gonna go into a sequel series or they're just gonna end it here soon. Yeah, it, yeah, you know, it's good, but it doesn't have staying power. Because yeah, because Fujimoto has other stories he wants to tell. Where, uh, it like Kyle, how many different like story ideas have you come up with in your life? I I seriously lost count. I know that I've written quite a few of them, and I've got quite a few more than I'm likely going to write. I was telling Ryan about one. I started it out as a very selfish thing. If Colt survived the apocalypse, but then I'm going to write if the whole Coterie managed to somehow survive. Because you have some of these ideas. I think that's why why Korokoshi just rushed the ending of My Hero Academia the, the way he did, because he just wanted to go into something else. Yeah. yeah. I feel bad for Masashi Kishimoto. Yeah, Masashi No, he's living off of subsidiaries from Naruto for the rest of his life. He, he doesn't. Have I mean, yeah, about. but you know, to, de to delay your actual honeymoon, like how many it years is... was it? Yes, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. Same thing with um, Junichiro Oda, the life he's living. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. To that man. <laughs> that man. I hope finishes the series. Let's see, I. Apparently, Sean's tooth is fucked up, so he's not in a talking mood today. Oh, shit. All right, got oh. it. All right. There it is. And, of course, Ryan is sick with something, so in case you're wondering where these two handsome devils are, that's that's why. Sick. Yeah. Um, so while we're, so on, while we're on the road, then, uh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to, uh, I'm going to talk to Soft Paws. So a bit telling us you only know to go at home. Soft paw shakes his head. Shakes or Unders nods? Nods. Okay. I understand a little of what you call Russian, but not much. Must have been here a long enough time. So, hmm. I need to start learning because you're from Africa and I imagine you want to go back to one day. Sapphires will like kind of look. I, I don't remember much of it, but yes, that's. I think that's where I'd like to go. I know some people who might be able to use your help. It is in the place where not me, but other silver fangs, you know, other, sh other silent striders come from. There's a lot of red talents like you there. They can use someone strong like you. And where is this? It is in a place called Egypt, on the Nile River. It is called... Set of the Howling Sands. Soft Paws would nod. What? He... As being like he was abducted as a very young kid from his home, it's like, what is it like? Grassland? Not quite. It is, it is a desert oasis. So along the river, there are places where plants and life can grow. The animals will come, and the food are plentiful. And there's many king folk around. But that sip needs more young people in it like you. Soft paws would like, like, look up, like. Hmm. Think about that. Though I don't know. Wait. 
that's if I end up there someday, yes. Trust me, I have been there. And silent striders cannot stay in Egypt for very long. But that would be a good place for you. One day, perhaps, maybe I can take you there. I travel a lot. <sighs> so I pause with nod, like, I'd like to go somewhere warmer again. It's so cold here. Yeah, it is. Especially since I gave up my jackets and my hat. <laughs> Just shifted a lupus, you schmuck. Yeah, like literally, Sawpaws would say that too. Like, just change into lupus. Well, uh, if you prefer, I always forget. Cry Kronos, or Krynos. Uh, Kenny's gonna look around, make sure there's no, like, Hamids anywhere around, and then. Uh, obviously not. You're in the middle of the Russian staff. He's gonna point at you. You were smart. I like you. <laughs> And he's going to shift into Krynos form and just kind of walk around. Uh, the... So, you are much younger than me, so I'm going to teach you a little bit of uh, the way that I speak in the Congo and in Tanzania, places like that, close to where you're from. They speak Swahili. You ever hear Swahili? Zapas would shake his head, no? Did so, not see any humans while I was there. Yeah, Retan, I imagine not. So, when you need me, I need you to call me. Kaka Makubwa. That is me name, bigger brother. Sapaz will shake his head and understand that. And when I need you, you call me. I call you. Kaka Mikube. Kaka Mikube. That is you, that is little brother. You stick with me, I show you around. Not possible. Nod. You've entered the bro zone. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Alright. Ursula, you're thinking of something. Something's been bothering you ever since the resurrection. When, uh, many things, when, yes. When, when you came to, your dress and your panties were off to the side, where the, the ham sandwich was, was just out in the wind, out in the open. And you're you're not exactly... Well, well maybe you are a little bit of an exhibitionist, but not to that extent. Uh... So we've been thinking for a while, who the fuck had their hands on you during that time? And did they do anything to you? Right, I assume it's an enemy of some sort, not one of the... one of my pack. Yes, yeah, so you, got, you got to look over at Kendi and... Uh, is, Kendi, is, is, is Kenny kind of be a perv? Look at that smartly dressed... Well, he's in Krynos form now, but he's a smartly dressed man with a fine coat and a nice suit and... Oxford shoes carrying an old 1920s gun that has a Garrow spirit in it. He couldn't be. He couldn't be the one. So yeah, that not, smile yeah. rubs you the wrong way. How he's always smirking. That's that son of a it, bitch up to. Yeah. And then Ivan gets all of his porn from the internet. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's not him. Uh, you have an audio troubles, me? <laughs> More than likely. All right. Let's continue on the way. <clears throat> Yep, called it. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm back. Um, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I It sounded like there was something tapping on my front door. I thought it was my food, and it turns out it was just a bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Korax trying to get your credit card number. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ursula seems that, too, um, Ivan is the kind of guy that's going to get his internet, um, his it's porn off the internet probably hasn't touched a woman in his life. Same with Zamir, because Zamir is just radiating virgin energy when you look at him. Hmm. So it had to be somebody aligned with the worm, and that's what's bothering you the most about that. The fuck did I just come back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As we are continuing, eventually, there it is off in the distance. We see it. 
as you step over to it, it looks like a... What looks like a single black obelisk sticking out of the ground. Take a look at this. It has many names carved into it. As you take a peek at this, allow me to change the song. Let's get something a little bit more creepy going because we're going into a creepy area. Play this. All right. There we go. This is such an unnerving game, too. Wa uh, Waxworks, if any of you have heard of it. I've not. I've heard of it, but never it, played it. It's, it's a DOS game that's, like, way too violent for its own good. See, those are the best kinds. That's like seeing a 1920s horror movie and, like, wow, they got away with this back then? Yes. So, at Kindy and the gang, you all gather outside. Yeah, it's a single obelisk. Should take a look at this. A lot of names in Russian are scribed into the wall. Take a look at this. Ah, uh, two of you. Ah, uh, they multiply. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see. You're gonna feel. Who has the gun? Um, Ivan or Ursula? Do you have the Mosin? Um, I think Ivan gave the gun to Ursula. Uh, no, yeah. who gave? No, Ivan has the gun. I remember. Uh, you see, uh, I th I sp I'm thinking I've kind of been saying his name wrong. You're supposed to put more emphasis on the A at the start of his name, so it's supposed to be like Valerie. is how you say his name. Yeah, Valerie. Because uh, yeah. there's Valerie Legasov, who was the scientist that helped, um, that helped, you know, contain the Chernobyl disaster. Yes. It's, it's like that, and I've been saying the name wrong, technically. Yeah, and... The fuck is this new YouTube update? Damn it, I hate it when you want to update. So it's a stupid feature. He comes out with a gun, and he takes a look at it. He takes a look, look back at you. Yeah, I, I know the battle that they're talking about here. This is... Back when Stalin pretended to care about us, he set up a monument here to thank all of his boys for fighting so valiantly against the fascist Reich. This is the nicest thing I ever got in my life, and I there's a th th there's a haunt uh, you could call it um, n not that far north of here. That's where I've been um, where I've been ex existing uh, all this time. Um. I feel like I should really warn you about this. That place is filled with specters last time I saw it. Any of your friends there? I, I want to call them my friends, but they're really not anymore. They've all lost themselves to their own dark impulses. You can see why you run. But that is good to know. Perhaps maybe this could be a point we could... Restore some light to the dark part. Once you fall into the shadow, that's it. You don't come back from that. There should be something we can do. So, I'm just gonna ask you, whenever you see another ghost in here, it's, it's a specter. Go ahead and purge it. If you say... I understand. With that, uh, Ivan hands the gun over to you, Ursula, for the time being. Uh, the most I got. And there are two bullets left in that gun. Uh, Valerie is going to hop into it. I need to need more bullets for the gun. Yeah. It's almost like he's a genie with how this gun works. Hmm. So, pause. You have approached the monolith. The object doesn't seem to be just like a normal pillar. Or is there any sort of like weirdness coming from it? Just by with a quick glance. With as much gnosis as you have, you know that there's some sort of bad mojo around this area. You, it's this chill going up your spine as you stand around this area. You know that on the other side in the spirit world, there's a bunch of weird stuff going down. 
Yeah, Southpaw's walk away. The blue man is why the umbra here seems dangerous. Then we remain us we remain in the physical world. I better not attract too much attention. Alright. As for what's going on the other side of the uh, of the gauntlet, uh King agreed. Yes. See. You see them. Uh your good friend Laventi Beria told you that they would be approaching soon, and now they're here. A party of He told you it was gonna be four, there's six people. You can still mm. handle this. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you're also looking Ah There she is again. The whore. <laughs> You Jesus. tap your fingers. You tap your fingers with one hand. You clench your knuckles with the other. And chains just, just vibrate. You just hear the sound of chains. Is it, yep. Uh, Southpaw's. Was that the wind? Did you? Yeah, Southpaw's gonna be on like high alert. This place, he don't like it. All right, just let me check them real quick. Yeah, let's check in. Southpaws would also look back to the group and uh, Ursula in particular when he asks, "How do we fight ghosts?" You okay. hear? I don't know what exactly it is, but it cost me a pathos. You hear the word "hello"? What do you want? Uh, as upon that. Uh, Ursula, you you feel the Mosin Nagant, the bolt cocks itself in your hand after hearing that. Okay. Uh, why do I have the gun? See, because yeah. Ivan's not here. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, uh, Bashan's not here to play Ivan, so we've handed the gun off to you for now. Okay. Because, after all, he's got the one gun he's going to need for us the game, and he doesn't have hands. Sopa doesn't have hands. <laughs> yeah. He has like, paws, as his name yeah, would he, imply. Which I to outdo posable thumbs at the moment. You, you want to outdo Sif from Dark Souls and have a gun in your mouth instead of a sword? <laughs> oh, I did think about eventually getting uh, a clave like that. <laughs> a clave that he carries in his jaw like that one Dark Souls boss. Yeah, Sif. Yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah, high alert now, Kendi. You heard that. Kendi, you think you have a vague idea as to what that was. That's out, That was either keening or embody that you just heard. Keening or what? Embody. The, the arcanoid that the rates can use. Uh, Kendi's got Kendi's got the gun at the low ready position. Kind of like his head on a swivel, like seeing... He was told to stay out of the Umbra, but he feels like that would give him a better read on the target but also if there's a haunt north of here he would have very very limited time to get this done yes you're thinking about it how are we supposed to step sideways into here you're looking around there's no reflective surfaces well he's and, got a mirror and Vale <laughs> you think that too these schmucks are taking a long time to get into your hands Shall we do them a kindness and paint a little picture for them on the model left? Hmm. I guess so, but let me roll willpower just real quick. All right. You have a lot of that. Let's see you do it. Yeah, I gave this guy a lot of willpower because he's careful. Hmm. He's he's one of the smart ones. Yeah, he's yeah he's he is still he is quiet. <laughs> but uh. Hmm. Let me see here. Let's see. Which level was it in? Oh, yes. He'll use um Embody Phantom 2. Yeah. As... I, I roll Charisma Plus. Embody to manifest a hazy outline of my being. I'm not actually there for the DM, meaning they can't attack me, but they see an image of me. Yeah. 
You see in the monolith a face appears. Uh, something like kind of like the T-1000 where it seems like the stone stretches out and you see the face of somebody in the monolith looking back at you. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I used um, this isn't my real face. But I look at them. Oh yeah, I should probably roll to see how many how long I do this. For how long can you embody? Alright. But um I you hear it again. What do you want? Yes. Hmm. We were not able to pass by. See, you're able to maintain this for a while. Mm. I look at the whole party. And I say, why are you at my haunt? This, this is my haunt, right? It has become your haunt. Yeah. What yet? Why are you are you at my shit? <clears throat> why are you at my heart? I'm gonna look over at Ursula. Okay. Yeah. Ursula seems focused on the specter. Look. It th this is we're getting very strong Spectre vibes off of this. This this is not typically what a good Kyrie looks like. Okay. Uh, Wait, where did you post the picture of that Ray? I'm, where is it at? See, I have not posted this picture yet. Okay, so he's just like said that he's drawing the thing on the thing, right? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Point is, I've used the power to not show what even it actually looks like, so yes. I'm not. So don't send the actual picture out yet. Here, I'll, I'll draw, like, an angry face on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting to get annoyed a little. Mm. Fuck it. Mm. You will feel an indent in the floor right next to your feet. Um, you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kendi? Yeah. yeah, you're right next to your feet, right in front of you, and, uh, well, let's see here, that would be... Uh, please. <laughs> because this is an object, and I'm not really willing to attack someone, a big imprint, like a chain hit the ground, hits right in front of you, and you hear him say this one last time. What are you doing here? Uh, what are we doing here? We are passing by on the way to Obidami Beast. Uh, Saw plus danger and common sense is going off at the same time. That's what yeah. I figured. You're looking at that, you're thinking, he's evil. Well, uh, let's see, Zamir, the, the reflective surface that Zamir has, that's his glasses that you can use to step sideways. As, are you going to pursue this man into the Umbra slash Shadowlands? I, I feel like this is kind of important. Yeah. I'd hate to attract more wraiths to this area, so I'm pro we're going to have to deal well, with well, this Well, you're quick. a Sonic Strider. It's, it's, it's unavoidable. I know, but I'd rather not have them around for longer than I need to. So, yeah. in and out, 20 minute adventure. So I will quickly look into some here's glasses then and roll noses. All right. Anyone else stepping sideways with him? Uh, what do I know about spirits? Uh, spirits. The shell lords have told you do not fuck with these. These are my. These might as well be in the same books as Bane's. Okay. Can I affect a spirit from the physical world, or do I have to step sideways to do it? If it's using something like embody, you can attack it. Where I guess you can attack the small love. Yeah, he hasn't intentionally brought himself truly into the physical realm. He's always yeah. used the uh, projection. Yeah. Ivan is currently buffering into through the Umbra, as we speak. Day 47, if you want to step sideways. Seven? Gotcha. Yeah. Tight. See, there we go. All right. 
So going into this, the, uh, let me get this prepared in advance. The, I can only have one thing copied to my clipboard at one time. So I don't have a telephone. It's impossible to run Roll20 again on a smartphone. It can't be done. It can't be done! Okay. Let's get this going. Now, I've only listened to the first, like, five minutes of this. There better not be, like, some sort of, like... Okay. You step sideways. Ivan and Kindy. That monolith becomes a tree as you step sideways. But it's not really a tree. It's this kind of, like, weavery gossamer webs that are forming the shape of a tree as you step sideways. And on the other side... You see who exactly is talking to you. Let's see. There he is. Posting a picture over to what he really looks like in game chat. That's. I don't like the looks of him. You also see that he's got somebody hanging um, in his hand, holding them by their hair. This person. King, uh, to let you know, this is a wraith that has not become a specter yet. You were in the middle of doing so before these girls interrupted you. Hmm. Now I'm going to roll intelligence to see... No, 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 hold on. Yeah, no, no, I rolled high on this willpower. He's not going to immediately go for the attack. Seen as... Okay, you see him holding the wraith in up, uh, well, the spec wraith in his hand. Uh, you notice one other thing? He's wrapped in chains that move, that act on, that seem to move with their own will. Basically, imagine Doc Ock, but with chains. Mm -hmm. Butterfingers. He will look over to you. Over you and say, This is interesting. Hmm. What? Seeing as you're here, I will guess I'll talk a little bit more nice. Why are you here? I see it. Into material plane. We was just passing through. But I see now that you are on a dark path. One that you should not take. Me? On a dark path? No. You see here, this Ray did a crime in Stygium. I'm only bringing them back. To what crime is she accused? She was supposed to be going to the Soul Forges. Hmm. Supposed to be. And where was she instead? Here. I am only retrieving. And what is this between us? See, that is well, just a one of the many marks of the Shadowlands. This appears to be looks like a, a small puddle of black water. It's, it's some tempest that has never fully evaporated. So there, she was on her way to the Sophages, but she was here, in the middle of the step. Tell me, yeah. does this bread you have in your hand, does she have a name? Not that I can remember. Have you asked her her name, or will I have to ask for you? Hmm. Hold on, let me roll intelligence plus a to see if he realizes you're a werewolf. He only has three dice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a throb I've, I've been having with NPCs yeah. in Appalachia. Alright. Can I get a bonus because they sidestepped? Yes. Uh, uh, that'll be one on max success on your part. Um, Alright, then I'm I'm just gonna. Right. Well, I Once mean, I'm still in Crino. Shouldn't he see that? 
Oh, well, you're still on Prino? Yeah. He uh, well, need... well fight, fight this role. You're automatically now. <laughs> All right, then. I didn't. I thought you. I thought you were in human form. So uh, I need to get a Chronos form of of Gendy. Yeah. See that's your werewolves and uh, God damn it, he's a a certain type of specter that's that's meant for infiltrating brave society. He's not going to try to fight a bunch of werewolves. He's not dumb. <laughs> no, we, we we might need to get back to the boys and the haunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For reference, I was about to roll for him to call for Spectre backup. <laughs> he, he has rescinded that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, fun fact, all Wraiths have a hive mind. That means I can um, telepathy call to other Spectres to jump you. I'm a silent strider. They already know I'm here. Yeah, and I could call a bunch to help me, and uh, Spectres come in mass. Oh, well, I've got 30 rounds that respawn after 6 seconds on tap every time, so don't you worry about that, buddy. Yeah, point is, Spectres are very much so the worst definition of what I'm not getting into this. It yes. was going to be a fight. Seeing as uh, this is rather touchy, and I used two pathos, and I damaged myself a little bit to talk uh, regularly, he'll mm -hmm. say that very well. It's coming out of my hive, but you can't take her back. And he will let go of her, and but one of the chains will grab her by her, will grab her and throw her to you. Uh, I will try to catch her. As you catch this woman. And yep, she's been stripped bare. She she was wearing something, now she's not. Um, it appears that there are a few what, scratch marks and claw marks across her body. Whatever she was wearing, it was forcibly removed. Okay, and he's going to very gently set her down. Call your friends if you like. I guarantee you will not win. <sighs> now, now, now. There's no need to be cruel. Cool. I'm just simply doing my job. Your job has corrupted you. Messages, alternate employment, or better yet, follow in the example. He's going to gesture to her. Of a red that tried to war for Stygia, find rest. Hmm. Very, how about this? I know what are you looking for exactly. To end on more positive term, I know many things. Do I know better than to trust the word of a wraith on the uh, verge of becoming a specter? You might as well be talking to a bane spirit. I know better it's than to know a lot of shit, though. Yep. Let's not pretend to say no. I know better than to trust somebody on the verge of evil. Whatever I find, I can find myself. Be gone with you. And if you come back, come back expecting a fight. You don't even want a hint on potential resources? Allies? I have a pack. I have all the allies in need. Very well, very well. This was your decision. I was trying to live, let bygones be bygones. Kenny's getting sick of this. He's going to raise his, his Tommy gun just like, and keep an eye on him as he's walking away. The chains seem to go around him and form a barrier as he basically floats away. Little carapace. Is it... And he's gone. It is, there he goes. Sorry, I didn't have you on screen all that much. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You, you, it's fine. Uh, my character, he, he has the power to change his shape. He, he can, he can talk to him again later. Yeah, don't worry about this. <laughs> uh, Kenny then will look down at the uh, specter or the wraith beside him, the woman. As she, she's curled up, she's got her knees to her chest, and just her hair's just a mess, thrown out all across her body as you're looking down at her. 
Is there any? Let me let me check something real quick. Do I have anything for this? Do you have any points in empathy? <laughs> I do not. No. Yes. There it is. You've been in the be. game for too long. You've 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 lost what's like to be. Human. I do have visions of dust. I can see into the Shadowlands. I can hear and see wraiths. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Mepian, we gave we gave you a point from Luna. I never actually gave you the mechanics. Uh, behold, it's true shot. Good yeah, shit. Okay, um, what does that do for me? I posted into roll twenty. That's what the system does. Oh shit. Uh, no, that's, not, goes. that's not good. A bunch of the specters in the area know about you guys now. Yes. As he, as he tells everyone about this pack of werewolves. Yes. As cutting over to you for a minute, Vale. <clears throat> as you are wheezing your way about, come over to here on this molten slab in the Shadowlands that seems to be on perpetual fire. Value head back over here. The rest, the rest of your buddies are here. Uh, you are down here. Okay. I do believe you. Uh, you have control over your token. Yes, you do. I'm here. So this will be my actual haunt. Yes, is this is where all of your other demonic little buddies are? Yeah. Uh, let me see. I picked a size three for haunt. So yeah, you know that's enough to support me in a few other sectors. As you rush over here. And, yep, two of those specters from before, uh, specters, type one and type two are here. Look at you. We heard there's someone else here. Where? The werewolf, the ones that like to poke into our business are here in this area. Don't mind if we do. Do be careful. I don't want to lose any more so As they're going to head off that way. Let's see. What else is here? Uh, well, this man. Oh, uh, I, I wonder who, who you use as a base when you're making this character. <laughs> yeah, do I know who this is? Yep, you know who that is. You know who this is. And we have one more guy in this area that's unique. Let's see, as soon as I find you, let's see, Yaroslav, where did I put your token at? I. So not him. This dude. These three are waiting for you. Ah, my friend. Let's see, to uh, to let you know who's who, possessed human, bane spirit. Specter. Ah. I only feel I only feel friendship with this one. Yes. <laughs> As that Wait, Spectre you um possessed by what? Because I can possess a human too. See, I just can't take care of control. He's he is being possessed. Ah. Shit. Okay. And, and I assume, yeah. As you were looking the the, the the very obvious Grim Reaper looks at you. Uh, King, you've, you're familiar with Wraith the Oblivion. Can you guess what legion he used to be a part of? Hmm, the Grim Legion. The religion of all murderers. Is it, what? The Grim Legion? No, the Skeletal Legion. You're right, the Skeletal Legion. Yes. <laughs> the I, Grim I, Legion I, one is the easiest one to find for NPCs, though. Yeah. I turn to them and I basically explain to them there's a pack of werewolves scrounging for... I did. I'm going to assume my character is smart enough to realize they're looking for resources. Because why else would you be over here? <laughs> is this the Reaper's going to look at you? You know, the boss has been waiting for these to arrive. They're not Blackwing One, but they'll do for now. Boss, what the fuck do you mean, boss? See. There's only a few things that Spectres actually answer to, and a few things are absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. The boss you'd be referring to would be me. As stepping onto the scene, there he is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Kyle, you know who this is, right? Um, that would be Bravia, wouldn't it? Let's see. Let's see, one Lavrenti Pavlovich Beria. Beria, yeah. 
Yeah. He's a as bastard. W- yep, yeah, that's a despicable bastard. That's exactly it, right. As for what kind of power he is and what he is, you don't know. The the aura the aura is so miasmic, we don't know. He will walk over him and give him a light bow. Mm-mm. How are you? I'm doing better now that I'm back in this land. That's lovely. That's lovely of you. I've come back here because I've heard that my beloved Sebastian is dead. Oh. Well, what will we handle these worlds? They're ruining my spot. <laughs> The werewolves. They think they're in control of this war. They're just pawns in a worm's hand. I... Do you... I don't... I'm like the rest of my kid. I... I can actually enter this, the physical land. Unless we can trick them into entering our land, I don't see us winning. Meaning I could basically call a small squadron of specters to jump them as soon as they step sideways into our territory. Do so. They're looking for the source of room corruption in this Shadowlands. Mm. Very well. I'll uh, see what I can scrounge up. And spare no expense. It seems that there is a miracle man amongst them. Miracle? You were with me when we killed these uh, the first time. Did you not recognize the woman? Oh, she was right. Re- oh, she did look familiar. You were about to get your hands on her, too, before your body ran out. Mm. Yes, such a shame, such a shame. Oh, what a pity to be blue-balled by your own power. He's going to turn, look at you. Take the take everyone with you. Bear no expense. My character will actually look at him and say, You are asking a lot. But not. These wolves, I want them to die for Sebastian. You. Okay. And if you I- if you risk dying, do not stay and fight and die. There's no there's no sense in senseless honor. You retreat if that's po- if possible. Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. My character will do two things. One, he'll start using um, I forget the name of the power, but allow him to call, connect it to the hive mind of specters and get a small group together. Mm-hmm. And two, to stalk the party from the Shadowlands. You have, you're smart. This is why I've given you the position you have. Yeah. Very well. But yeah, that's the two things we're gonna do. If you want me to roll for stealth, I can. Let's see. You may roll for stealth, yes. Alright. So you put you put all those points in it. Yeah. <laughs> do I get a bonus? Because Roll you're... roll roll with an extra dice, yes. Yeah, because uh I'm only asking because uh this is the Shadowlands, and you have to constantly keep looking into the Shadowlands, and it's very disconcerting if you're not used to it. <laughs> Let's see this roll. May successes. Whenever we do a hunter, you tend to roll very well when you play as May. Um, I'm fully aware. Let's see what you get with this. Ah, it, my computer froze for a bit. Continue with yeah. the story. Continue with the story. Yeah. I am very excited for Hunter tomorrow because I got a lot of fun NPCs. Yep, yep. May is May is very much so disgusted by that yep. fucking block. Because yeah, player character death is now on the table. And yeah. it, as it always is with this game, at any point your characters can die. Let's see. Oh. Uh, stepping back into Skillings for a minute. So, Kindy and Ivan have both stepped sideways. Ursula, that face is gone. Okay. And he is very stealthy. Uh, what, what happens if I use the good power? What do that, what does that do? You all use willpower? Yeah, uh, what do I get with a willpower? You Is re-roll a... individual dice with it in this game. Yeah, I'm alright. I'll re-roll one dice. Alright. 
Is oh, W twenty wants you to go insane and give you automatic successes with low power? Oh, fuck it. I'll do two willpower. Which means in W twenty you can just bank willpower and then steamroll an entire boss fight. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Force effects is now I'm going to roll my investigation roll with a identical key. Get the the crazy steamrolls. Anyway, it's going to be a high difficulty because um, I'm a specter and it's harder for me to see in the skin land. Got it. Um, does inv uh, inv investigation work? All right. Yes. King, you sound very muted all of a sudden for some reason. Uh, he's I'm on his cell phone, this is why. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a I, I can make out what he's saying just enough to keep the conversation going. This better? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm doing a cursed Google search while you're doing this. Yeah. Well, this is the consequences of playing to actually smart smart villain. He is not fighting a bunch of werewolves. Kyle, it is to my realization that there are no human versions of Fritz the Cat. There's a reason for that. It's because it, he's a cat. Yeah, no, nobody's ever made like a human a like alternate universe version of him. Well, no, yeah, right. because he's a cat. Yeah. Okay, I rolled my successes. And fuck it, I'll use another two willpower. No, no, I'll just use one. I'll just use one willpower. Just one willpower, got it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, give us the roll. Oh, okay. So, four successes to track you, and four successes to hide in the Shadowland. The ambush has been set. All right, that's my character. All right. Ursula and Softpaws, you're looking at their metaphorical watch. It has been a minute since Kindy steps sideways. Okay. Um, so, okay. Well, you think, gang, should we all go sideways and have a look? Is Zemir is anxiously looking around. <laughs> uh, you're uh, you're you're hearing Va uh, Va Valerie with, within the gun. Uh, absolutely, that that was a specter. I just know it. I'll listen to the ghost. I think we should. As Zemir will turn to make eye contact with you. All right. Let's see, I will have Zemir at the end of you stepping sideways. Pull out. Pull his glasses off and use the reflection of the light to step sideways. Alright, that's one success on your part. Difficulty six to step sideways. Right. See, now that the specter has left. See, pop this. Oh, that's it, a Gnosis roll, right? Yes. There we go. Oh, it became close. And ba boom. I right. for the purposes of the scene. Candy, we'll keep it going with you by yourself for a little bit before we bring in Ursula and Softpaws. Uh, Candy is going to try his best to like make sure that the the female wraith is okay. Yes. He and... probably with well, give me a sec real quick because I know that that specter ran off and called his friends. So let me roll that real quick. Uh, that is visions of dust. Yes. Uh, spend gnosis point. Roll permanent gnosis. I can see into the shadow. Well, we're already in the Shadowlands, aren't we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Also, if you were to chase them, he would have ran into a tempest. Yes. Okay. Because yeah, so, right now, you're, you typically don't do this. When you step sideways, you need to do an, like, an additional step to get into the Umbra. You just immediately stepped into the Umbra. So we're, we're not in the Shadowlands. We're just in no, the Umbra. No, no, no. You immediately stepped into the Shadowlands. That's why I'm sorry. And that only happens when there's like a serious distortion going on with the Shadowlands. Okay, so can I roll? Um, can I roll something and just figure out how I just randomly stepped into the Shadowlands? Because usually that should have just taken me <clears throat> in the Umbra. Well, no roll needed because what's your mission objective? Uh, last I checked, we were going to the Russian outpost to find supplies. It's no, no, it's not to find supplies. What did Gaia tell you about? No, not, not Gaia. Uh, what did Dimitri tell you about the six wells? Um, 
There are six wells of worm corruption in this area that need to be exercised. Oh, yeah, so we're already here. Cool. That means yes. we're getting close. Yeah. You got so distracted with your homage shit, you forgot your divine mission. Uh, you know, I can help with that. Uh, yes. So what do I need to do to make sure that this wraith is okay? Uh, well, it would be an empathy roll, but you can't relate to people. <laughs> well, no, I'm too goddamn good and pretty looking, you know. As... She's she she right now she's just curled up. She's ex extremely damaged. You don't know what what that dude was doing to her prior to uh, well prior to that encounter. Okay. Uh, does Ivan have any empathy? Ivan's gonna look over. Uh, given that he's a chronic ch Twitter troll, no. Please, us love is here. As, yeah. Both of you have been staring into the abyss for too long. You don't know how to talk to people. <laughs> I've been traveling around the world, killing everything I look at with a sh with a Tommy gun. So yeah, that that about does it. All right, coming out of the tree as you are <laughs> actually trying to figure out, you know, how am I supposed to help out with trauma? Ursula, soft paws, and Zamir step sideways. Heck yeah. Oh, good you're here. You were worried you took a long time. He followed the thing into the umbra here, and he ran off. Likely he's going to get his friends, but this is not the umbra. This is the Shadowlands. As, as Val Valerie immediately jumps out of the gun, and he runs over. Are, are, you, are you okay? She, she's going to immediately take this wraith into our arms uh, into his arms as he kneels next to her you hear her her, her voice it um her, her breath hitches after he does that she is very nervous she does not want to be touched right now and she's gonna look over can, can you not do that he's gonna take his hands off step back <sighs> sorry to do that I'm my my name is my name is Valerie I'm um Former Grim Legion. She's she's gonna look up after that. You see her eyes, Kendi. It's this brilliant kind of blue color as she looks up. You said Grim Legion. You left. Uh, well, it's more that my my company's been disavowed um, with the current condition of the the haunt. It, as you hear the confidence leaves uh, Valerie's voice as he goes back to being his awkward self. The Wraith looks up. Um, Pauline is my name. And behold, she's been out to your journals. Alright. Seems that Valerie has brought her back down to reality. Is there anything we want to ask her? Do you know who that was? Uh, he, I, I never caught his name, but he's in the same company as Laventi Beria. The bastard. You know him then. Uh, Beria is infamous historical figure. Even Stalin did not trust him. And you, you see, you see, Valerie look over. Well, yeah, then any and all records to his crimes were destroyed. But we know. So, the man that he said you were going to the so he said you were supposed to go to the so forge. What for? That none of that was true. So where was he taking you then? He he was he was. <sighs> As you, you see, she, she's stammering. V Valerie's looking down. You you don't. Um. You see, he tells his helmet to the side, as he just puts it, his ear to her lips. She speaks to him. Uh, Va you see, Va uh, Valerie, his his throat contracts after he hears what she says, and he's gonna look over at you. Can he, drop 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 the subject. He's gonna 
gesture away. He's going to gesture. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Um, Soft Paws is going to drink, I see. So no, Soft Paws is going to walk over to this because it is like such a weird thing to see like water in the umbra like that. Yeah. Is, you're, you're looking around too. Can, can, Soft Paws, what happened to like color in the umbra? Is everything, yeah. Everything's white and gray here. Wait, and... I think I took that as one of my uh, flaws that he's already... <laughs> Oh, is he colorblind? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this doesn't mean anything to him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's always this color. Well, well, well what about the, the the green and the blue? I mean, we we, we struggle to see red, but now there's just no color. True. Yeah. And, sa and same thing, Ursula, because you know something's wrong. This is not the straight Umbra. Thinking about this, and. Sophos, as you look in this water, there's some sort of weird, like, evil death, like, voodoo vibe we're getting off of this water. Where water already has the capacity to kill you if it comes on, to, uh, if, like, if you get smashed with it with high pressure. But it feels like just everything related to this water has got a death aura to it. Yeah, Southpaws will walk away from the water and say, don't go near it. So... As... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, Valerie's going to look back at you. Uh, yeah, she she doesn't want... It, 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 what she told me shouldn't be repeated. She does not have to. Is there a safe place for you to go? She's going to look up. No, there's not. I'll tell you what you can do. Yeah, he's going to step forward and he's going to point towards the direction of the camp. He's probably not a great idea, but, you know, at least there, other Garo can find her. So, you see the people like us that can walk in and out. They will not see you in this realm, the Shadowlands. But if you go far enough that way, there is less corruption here. And you will find more friends. As you see, Valerie thinks for a second. What 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 are what what guilds did you learn from? She's gonna look. Well, um, I learned from the artificers. Valerie's gonna look over. Okay, if if she she probably should be set traveling by herself. You need to um. Well, the the the, the moisten that I've that my my, my moisten she she can um in, inhabit that for a time being. She she looks up again, and I learned from the harbingers, as v Valerie's head spins around when she says that. Change of plans. We're, we're bringing her with us. Uh, how much do I know about the harbingers? The harbingers, I right, intelligence and occult difficulty eight. Intelligence, occult, I'm not the smartest, but I'll see what I can do. Let's see. King knows who the Harbingers are. Uh, oh, I do, actually. All right. All right. There is a little Arkanoid out there called Argos that Stygian society cannot function without. So what this does is that it is your guidance. Uh, th this is your, your navigator from Dune smelling the red sand that gets you through the Tempest. And it's very useful. So, with that, she knows where the Tempest is. And, Kendi, you know what the Tempest is. Talking about the Tempest, Ursula, Softpaws, you're both lost in the subject. The Tempest is this, like, soul rain, like, death rain, that just destroys whatever it touches and pelts in Stygia, uh, in, in the Shadowlands. Uh, it's rain that can kill you. And she's able to navigate her way around it or until when a storm is coming. Uh, that is very useful indeed to have. You know, Samia, you wear glasses. Perhaps she could help pay your eyes. You, you want a woman on my, in my glasses? 
She will be able to help tell us when the tempest arrives. All right, I suppose that works. As he's going to take his glasses off, you see this woman looks over and just very timidly reaches up, touches the glasses, uses in habit, and now she's in him. She will. He's going to. Uh... Kendi is going to lean into the glasses and speak to Paulina, even though it looks really weird for Zamir. Yeah, Z Zamir leans back when you do that. I'm talking to her. You can trust Zamir. He is a stargazer. He is a peaceful and good man. One that a few good man is, you can trust him. Well, she can't really... She, she doesn't respond, but... <laughs> Uh, with how 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 many points does Amir have an empathy? He's empathetic. All right, so she she she's able to trust Amir. There you go. Okay, man with the eyes, and you two lead the way. As Zamir's gonna look around, she's gonna cast the point of pathos to use Argos. You see, Zamir freezes for a minute, and he looks over. Uh what was that she was saying about uh, storms, the, the tempest? The tempest is a storm in Stygia. A rain of souls that destroys whatever it touches. It looks like one of those rainstorms is heading this way. Then, find sh then we must find shelter then. We've got a, 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 a narrow time window to get this guy. Well... We must find him and find him quick. All right. Let's see, and with that, we continue through the Shadowlands as you start heading north. All right, away we go. I will keep my head about on the swivel in case this dude shows up. As yeah. we're heading north, Softpaws will bring up to the group. Will our weapons and abilities have any use on a ghost? I mean, we have flesh and blood creatures, after all. That's an excellent point. Can I roll the dough like we can harm Spectre? Uh, this is no, the Sonic Stars would just know. Um, you can you can quote unquote kill a wraith a second time, but they don't stay dead when you do that. You can dispatch a wraith, but they will return after a time. Hmm. Yeah, I got, 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 got to get this done right the first time. All right. And pull this up. I think you can hear my keyboard ever so slightly in the background. Don't worry. Yeah. One of these days I'm going to get green switches and it'll turn into an ASMR keyboard stream. Yep. Uh, yep. One thing that's consistent with Geller Group is that we cannot do audio worth a damn. That is my fault, but I will hopefully have that remedied by the end of this week. Yeah, I can master audio whenever I record, but I, I, I don't like doing it because it just takes too damn long. Where are we now? I don't know, but it's a big damn map. Yeah, you step over here. See, you are down here, by the way. I'm still in Krynus form, I realize. Yeah, you, you might want to stay in that form. Probably a good idea. And uh, take it from me, who's playing as Paris in our mon in our server game on Sundays, where I'm in cross form for as long as possible. I mean, you do that with with ends of the road as well. So yeah, yeah. But well, with 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 Paris, he has breached veil. People don't go into uh, delirium when they see him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he, he's a, he's a cute cross werewolf, much to everyone else's dismay. He's a furry. Yeah, it, it's, he walks around like a gorilla. And Vale, you are a part of the scene. You are hiding somewhere. Mm. As you're keeping your eye out, there yeah. they are. The yeah, he remembers them talking about a certain place where they all gather. He he will remember that. <laughs> yes, As it seems that they're heading their way towards what used to be the haunt for the Red Army. Uh, the the men who died in that battle. After, before the Spectres took them over and fell under your purview. 
Yep. Now to clarify, they're they're in the mortal realm, and I'm still in the and I'm in the shroud, right? Because no, no all... you're both you're you're both in the shroudlands. Oh, they're all in the shroudlands too. Yes. Oh, if that's if that's so. Then I got a lot more successes on my search roll. Yes. As you were in the shroudlands, you know exactly where they are. This ambush is going to be perfect. Yep. Yeah, now. I because I only have one dot in hive mind. I is gonna take me some time to get to actually hoard on them. So only the two that I got with the four successes are gonna jump them. Says, along with that, Vale, you get a a hunch. There's a there's a there's a storm from the tempest in this way. That is not good. Well, with the with the specters and the tempest coming this way, there's no way these wolves are going to survive all that. Yeah, that's not good. Um, specters are immune to tempest. Yeah. So, behold, it, 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 everything is going your way. There's no way you can fuck this up. There is no way. I no way. I might even get to show up. Show up. So to put in 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 um, logistics terms, if the two specters are going ahead, he's just right behind them by a couple steps. Yeah. All right, party down here at the bottom of the map. You may move at your own pace. Um, given the setup of things and given who we're dealing with, I'm going to actually use sense worm. Uh, that's not good. The, I you may use sense worm. Go ahead and make that roll. All right, perception and occult difficulty seven. Give me a sec. All right. Uh, I am very perceptive. I know a little bit of a cult. I should put more pips in that sometime soon. Actually, do I get more perception from... Let me see. No, I do not. Yeah, I'm looking okay. at the map. Cool. Uh, Mail film yeah. versions. So that's that's right. And, uh, 3D10, difficulty 7. Oh, yeah. Two successes. Uh, Candy, multiple targets going off in your mind when you use this. Where at? At... Uh, you're counting 20 targets in this area. I'm going to gesture for everybody to hold up. They're all over the place. I can sense them. Uh, what is the nearest one to me? Let's see, You're immediately sus suspecting this is going to be some like, big damn Viet Cong or Japanese Imperial Army ambush. It's a trap. I can feel it. Something wrong. I can feel it. Yep. <laughs> It's just a feeling I got. That that tree, if you scroll up from where you are and I'm pinging the tree as I speak. Okay. Uh, if uh, that is the case, I see that tree and I'm going to pretend like I didn't see it. I'm going to kneel down and I'm going to make a... I'm going to use Apecraft's Blessing real quick on my Tommy gun. Make sure it's all nice. Make sure the action's clear and everything on it. All right. Rid some repair so difficulty you, seven. You, you grip the barrel and extend it. <laughs> it's a Tommy gun for Christ's sake. Uh, what's the repair? That's three. Turn it into a single fire pistol sniper build. Uh, three plus craft. That's five. So five D ten difficulty yeah. seven. Yeah. That's one success. Give it, and given that you're in cross room right now, you're holding this with one hand. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh. Any rolls for the remainder of the scene are reduced by one. Okay, so that being said, I see there's one right there. But that might just be the spot, so we might already see us coming. So, I see, we form a line, stagger pattern, stay low. One of us go out, act as the bait. Soft pause will nod. Um, Soft pause also seeing this is going to try a gift. It may not be the best in this situation, but he has an idea. So let me look how this works. Hidden killer. So I roll spinosis point and then roll manipulation and stealth. And for every success, uh, all rolls to see are made with a plus one. Yeah. The best part about hitting killer is that you're in a fucking cross farm where your manipulation score tanks. Yeah. Are you in Krinos or are you in Hispo form? Hispo. I am Hispo. Or it tanks. So it gets rid of all of my manipulation, but. It's... 
Ain't it? We won't know until you try. Yes. All right. So let's do that. And then manipulation and. All right. What'd you get? That is. That is. I'm watching this with you. Any killer? Ooh. That uh, still a ton of successes. Holy shit. Yeah. That was a lot of. All I'll right. Count it off because I am in. Uh, Ch or not Chasmus, his book. Yeah, so I'll be. Yeah, did you take off? That, that, that's, still, that's still four successes. Oh, yeah. 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 All Good right. lord. That was a fantastic role. Yes. That was. GG, Brandy. Yeah. Ham rules shit. consistently high in all of our games. Yeah, he's yeah. still mad different. It's, it's like pure luck build, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hidden and killer, what would, you, what would you like to hide and kill? Um. Yeah, no. Sapaz is just going to do that and then just step off to the side in the sort of tree area. And just kind uh, of wait. Yeah, because you're, you're thinking to yourself, <clears throat> uh, Veil, they might be onto you. Mm. Yeah, because it was weird when they suddenly just stopped out of nowhere. What should, yeah, I'm uh, so, so, like soft paws, like through unnatural uh, spirit energy, has turned his painted body into black and white and is now blended in with the Shadowlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a person who spent the majority of his life before he died stalking people, certain people that certain stopped and started being able to hide means you're aware of them. Ah. Uh, my niece in mm. the first wave. Yeah, I'm sending in the first two. My only two. I'm just telling them to go in. All right. As coming out from the tree, the first one, as he just drops down and lands right here, first specter. See, Kendi coming over to the side. Ah, oh, it's a pincer maneuver. This dude. From both yeah. sides. As see what the, we've got. Uh not too crazy for the first one. You also see yeah. looks like two other people come out. This dude and coming out from the other side. That dude. Yeah, I looked at the staff for Spectres. They can get real nasty. Oh, yeah. Yep. I know uh, a put fought them, I think, in Rage Across... What was it? Rage Across New York, I think, and the Halloween yep. episode. Yeah. Yeah, my character is supposed to be an ambush card, as you can tell. So, so showing you who we've got. Your first enemy type. Got two different stat blocks to run off of. Your second... These aren't Disco Elysium disciplines, are they? No. Or not disciplines. What are they called? Yeah. Oh, sorry to interrupt. The, the, the Tempest is still not, it's still not on them, right? I, no, not it's not here yet. No, Third right. guy? Let's see. Former hunter for the Russian government, now possessed. Let's see. And a Bane! Of course. It's... All right. Just put down my character, player character. He's hidden, so he's not doing anything, but he's here. Just, just work. Got it. I do sense the worm within 100 feet, so give me yeah. a sec. So you're, you're sensing to, uh, a ton of targets. Yeah, but let's put it like this. You're trying to sense decay in a realm of decay. Yeah. That's true, but I know there's targets all around, so. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like pull out the heartbeat uh, sensor in Call of Duty and you see multiple pings on the screen. That's fair. Yeah. So I just know it's yeah. a good idea to dig in. Yeah. No, that's all fair. That's very fair. But you wouldn't know exactly where you're in because of. Yep, I just know it's like in this broad swath in front of me. Yeah, precisely. Mm -hmm. All right. Initiative's up. All right. I will Let's not move. be using a tracker and still be marking your individual tokens. So not right. doing that with Hunter the Reckoning was a good idea. Uh... See, get everything set up. That was plus awareness, right? Or alertness? Uh, D10 plus your alertness score. Alright, roll. D10 plus... The Holy schmoly. 
Oh, baby. Goodness gracious, what was I thinking? I do actually like that song. That That it's, is a good Dirk Bentley song. That, that was dumb as hell. What was I thinking? I fucked up so bad. Oh, Ursula's bass, too. Jesus. It's the one that kicks some ass. It, Meepy's been waiting for this all, all, day, all game. All game. All game. Meep's ready to, Meep's ready to go. He's going to throw down. Let's see here. And I've got to roll for... I gotta roll for our schmuckheads who got sick. Why can't you be a pure blood? <laughs> okay. Calm, I know you enjoyed watching the RNC this week. I did no, I, not, not the RNC, the DNC. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck. I have not paid attention to politics at all. Primarily because I've been too busy doing my own shit recently. Yeah, you've been you've been too busy looking at videos of Klaus uh, Adel Schwab. You've been looking up all these different grasshopper recipes, preparing for the upcoming tyranny. Uh, no, no, it's just. <clears throat> Hold on, look at my scratch. Did I give him any specialties? No, the fuck I didn't. Nope. I did not put specialties in this game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So ten. Just... So actually naturally explode it's like uh you, you have four dice okay now it's actually five dice it's like why would i ever spend the experience points to go five levels when i'm just going to do, live off of live like so, a king off of four points in a skill so just to clarify tins, do tins explode or do you double them see i'm looking at this i forgot Let's see it's it's an extra dice block that you get okay so i should have rerolled some of my attacks but anyway it doesn't matter now yeah one, two, ten. You're a hunter. There we go. Alright, going down the line, we get to play. These are people. First of all, the roll order is Ursula, then Kendi, then Zamir. And then a whole bunch of people roll old uh, tens. We get Spirit of Wrath next. Wraith type one. Then Veil. Vale. Then we go all the way back down. We got Ivan. Yeah. We got a... Nope, then after that we got Soft Paws, then Lev, and then this other Wraith, and then we end it with uh, Valerie's turn. Alright. You guys like the soundtrack to Altered Beast? Because that's what we're playing for this. I mean, Altered Beast is kind of based, so let All me right. turn that up a little bit, actually. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright, Ursula, you move first. Hey, how fast can I move in Glabrous form? Uh, Glabro, alright, that'll be seven spaces. Seven. Uh, big feet, right. big hands. <laughs> you have big hands, you know. You know what you know what they say about women with big hands. Big hands, you got a bit with a big finger. Let's see. And what sort of range do I have with my whip? Let's see. With a whip that is ten foot reach that you have. Okay. Is it until we put even more points into it, then you can do the Yu Yu Hakusho Rose Whip extension. There. So I'm going to double move to here. Uh, does that require Rage to do? I don't remember. See, Rage, it's an action to move that far, and then it's Rage if you want to do an attack after that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will burn a point of rage, and it... See. See, there, there we go. Post Karama in the chat. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, all right, your attack roll. Let's see, we we have a macro set this set for this in our sheet, right? Uh, yeah, I, well, I just set it up now, to right, be honest. Well, there it is. Mm -hmm. All right, five, six, I don't think this Wraith will be dodging. <laughs> yeah, and I'm attacking the one on, uh, that's above. Yeah, that's going to hit. Okay. Uh, so damage will be... Two... Four, five points. And this is a fetish weapon. Yes. Yeah, for the purposes of damage. 
Ah. It's not it's not Stygian steel, so we're not sweating over that, but um yeah, it still it hurts. Works. But I still do lethal. You could argue bashing for, for pretty much anything else, but that's a magically bound weapon. Yeah. All right, that's going to start fucking up his corpus. All right. Corpus of damage. All right, anything else? Uh, that'll do me. All right, that'll be you. Who moves next is Kendi, his move. Uh, as a free action, can I call to Yvonne to cover uh, Ursula? All right. You are calling... I'm going to just say, Vanya! Cover Ursula! Head the north! And I'm going to go 5, 10, 15 here at the road, and I'm going to kneel down. Uh, All right. Seeing he is in range, and seeing as he's a, a lot meaner looking, uh, I'm going to just kneel down, seeing that's a worm... And I'm going to kind of, because of how big I am in Krynos form, I'm just going to use my arm to steady the shot. Apecraft's blessing, so that shot will be at minus one difficulty. And yeah, so I'm just going to fire a burst at this guy right here. Take your swing, take your swing. Okay, firing, and that's three rounds per burst, right? Yeah, at the Spirit of Wrath, right? Yeah, at Spirit of Wrath. Yeah, that's three rounds per burst, yes. Okay, so that is one burst. That's going to be three bullets. Dex and firearms. Uh, difficulty minus one. Yes. And for submachine guns, if I'm remembering correctly, that is... Submachine gun... You have the rules oh, before you. Yeah, so would that count as heavy gun or handgun? Does This would be a handgun by this point. Well, because, uh, yeah, because I'm in Krynos form. So yes. that'll be at difficulty five, then. Yes. Okay, difficulty five. And firing three rounds. Really? Right. Okay, I will burn a willpower on that one. With all the shots you got? Uh... But difficulty five, hang on. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, three successes. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll roll a, I'll burn a willpower on that. Burning one willpower, re-rolling that one. Stop double-clicking. That's what you get. All right, I undo the one. That's four successes on that. Four successes. All right. Spirit of Wrath is very right. fast. I forgot to roll an extra D10 on that because I just rolled Dex and Firearms because the gun is a plus one to hit. So let me not, not roll one more D10. Enough. Sorry about that. Talk about D10. D10. Okay, no, never mind. You got a zero anyway. Yeah, so I, I hit him. All right, that hits. And that is going to be dex plus dex plus that firearm score, so that is seven aggro damage. Let's see, there it is. Seven aggravated damage. So right out the gate, this guy's getting fucked up. Ugh. Ooh, that hurts. See, you, make, you make a character stat block, and then he dies before he can actually attack. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, one still takes away on silk rolls. We got that BS. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so he does have natural armor values, but at the same time, it still does a ton That's of damage. That's seven aggro damage. That's yes. going to hurt. Actually, right. yeah, hang on. My you have a second is... shot. Wait, actually, no, sorry. Six aggro damage. Continue. Uh, I only have one point of rage left, so I'm probably going to save that as I need it. All right, so you just fired the one shot, and that was it? Yep, one burst, three rounds. All right. See. So in that case, <clears throat> uh, going down the line, Zamir is going to get defensive 5, 10, 15, 20. He doesn't trust this. He's going to go around. He's going to start looking through the bushes. It's a perception, and you have no... You, you have points in investigation. Good. Good. 70, 10. Hmm. One... Three, four, five. He's aware something is hiding in this lake. He just knows it. He's going to reach into his pockets. He's going to pull out his knives, get one in each hand. And Zamir, you've been traveling around in a helmet form, haven't you? You have been. All right. He is going to. You took my name. Yes, you did. He's going to go into a crass form. 
Yes, yeah, he is doing jack shit with that one in the strength. All right. You're a weak man. You're a kissless virgin. All right. Who's next? Uh, Spirit of Wrath. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Candy, he's fast as shit. Shit. He's running this way. He's going to pull back his fist. He is taking wound penalties. All right, that is a dodge check. I'm going to need... Dexterity and dodge, difficulty 7. Dex and dodge, difficulty 7. And I'm in yes. Krinos, so that is plus 2 to my dex. All right. All right, so dex, dodge. Oh, wait, let, let me just dex and dodge. Uh, difficulty, what? 6, you said? 7. 7. Wow. Two successes. All right. Now, well, he wouldn't be a support, uh, spirit of wrath if he didn't have rage to spend. All Ooh. right. Same roll, dif okay. uh, difficulty seven, two successes. Got needed. All right, seven. Fire. All right, two successes. He has got one more point to burn. Let's see, I right, we need one success this time. Gotcha. He comes. Uh, oh ooh, shit! Get point of rage. Is, I'm burning. A, uh, I probably should burn a willpower on that. All right, you want to burn a willpower? All right. Was I still hurt after last session? Because I'm still at minus one, actually, I noticed. Let's see. Get, yeah, get rid of that. Oh, the minus one? Yeah, get get rid of that. You're not supposed to have that. All right, cool. I'll, I'll bird a willpower on that just to, just to be safe. Oh, hi, oh, oh, man. What? I think I think this sheet fucked up a little bit. Did it? Yeah, his it did or, fuck up. His or mine? No, yours. Why? What happened? You typed in difficulty 77. Oh. Oh yeah, you're yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, so I should still yeah. have one success. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, you dodged that. Okay. This guy's so coming at you with like the like with the JoJo rush hands, like punching multiple times. Is can do you manage? You you go into a small adrenaline rush as you start dodging between the fists. You don't fight God for a raid spirit. Yeah. I look at that. Fucker should have just stayed in his fucking spirit form. He would have had a better dice pool. <laughs> should you roll your eyes? Veil, your move. Oh, right. It's my turn. Shit. Yeah. See what you get. My character will... It's still slightly in our favor. He'll slink over here. Uh... Is it? I'll roll another, uh, uh, self-check. Alright. Let's see. If you wish to make a roll, you may. Alright. Because he is moving directly within your area of fight. So that's going to fail. Alright. Here. Let's see what you get. And then after that, we'll have another Spectre move. Uh, no modifiers. Just no odds, okay. I don't, I don't see any reason why he would. Fuck it, I'm no. using the willpower. All right. Let's see what you get from this. All right. Oh, shit. All right. There it is. This trust call has been made. See, will then this entire area will be swarming with specters before you know it. If he would have had higher, they would have come a lot quicker. Yes. All right. Let's see, I see what we got. If we cannot kill you, Ursula, because let's face it, you're a werewolf. You're going to deal more damage than he can deal to you. We can hurt you in other ways. Hold on, you don't don't ruin don't ruin the look. <laughs> All right. Don't don't destroy the whip. Don't don't destroy the whip. Uh, don't destroy the whip. Don't destroy the woman. Yeah 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 yeah. Kill her, but 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 leave her at least somewhat intact. Yeah. yeah it's... Let's see, it's saying same speeds. The 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 dark arcanoid are weird mechanically. Oh, the dark arcanoid are weird mechanically for a reason, yeah. yeah. But uh, they can be very dangerous. 
Oh, and oh, also, there's also the I forget exactly, but I think it's the Collings, the dark manifestation of the oblivion on their body that makes their body to lethal weapons. Urso, try to be possessed. Uh, not particularly. We're gonna try to possess you. Okay, I think I have a gift that makes me resistant to that sort of thing. Let me check. All right, see what you got. Your gifts, your gifts, your gifts. Uh, it's called inspiration, or resist mental effect. All right. Let's see, we tried to what? pop inspiration. Uh, what do you call it? The bardic inspiration. You get this from being a, a rune, if I am right. Uh, uh, I wrote the rules. I know what these are. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and spin your spin your gnosis point. Okay. All right. And then roll your permanent gnosis point. Uh, score difficulty seven. We get. Seven, you said. Okay. Yeah, difficulty seven. All right. This is one additional success in resisting the mind control effect he is trying to do to you. This is going to be straight willpower. Your permanent willpower. You have one automatic success. We needed uh, difficulty seven to resist it. Uh, he tried possessing you with puppetry. It doesn't work. You just pull it right out. Like, nah, nah, yeah. get the fuck up out of here. I got this. Yes. Let me drive. Yes. You pull this guy out from possessing you and potentially giving you a charm effect. See, and there we go. Unfortunately, a Spectre does not have rage, so that's the end of his turn. No, we Spectres do not. Yeah. Uh, not even in uh, the werewolf adjacent rules, because I think what was it, like one range at most, but that's just the roll permit stuff. Yeah. Uh, looking at this. Vale, you are so disappointed that you are working with idiots. I am. Really, I am. I'm just going to... No, no, fuck this. Fuck this. I am getting shades next time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're asking uh, Beria for the, the, the heavy weapons. I'm bringing in shades next time. I, I don't then, know you, they are what? as individual specters, but I'm bringing in the actual soldiers specters. <laughs> Unless, of course, I gun you down in the street like a fucking dog with a Tommy gun. That is a possibility. <laughs> Ye. Yeah. Dexterity. Shoot the gun. I deal. S I I do sh shit. Wait. Will... Oh, was that uh, was that Bunya? That, no, that was Ivan. Yeah, that was fine, yeah. Let's see. As he's trying to shoot and help Ursula, but he shoots wide and does it, ends up hitting the tree and cuts a limb. 762 needs like 300 rounds to cut a limb off a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There it is. Get, get how dead that tree was. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're, you're a land where everything is dead. Alright. Okay, who's next? Uh, soft paws remove. All right. On soft paws turn, he is gonna yeah jump out of the bushes and fight this guy. Right. See what you can do. Oh, that's disgusting. Take yeah. you, you, you saw the thing in the in the game chat. Hang on. Let me see. No, I just saw what Stampede did. Stampede? Stampede? Yeah. What are you uh, talking about? Dark, oh, dark, dark okay. No, no, no. Sorry for interrupting, but quick. Uh, Stampede, uh, a shuttlecraft. Each each shade uh, donates into a joint attack. Uh, if uh, basically all of them attack you at once, and the final result, all their damage is added at once to you. Jesus. Well, this is Essentially, it's a TPK, TPK ability that your storyteller can just whip out. Fuck that. <laughs> See, uh, my, my wound penalty, I can't dodge for shit. Alright, so soft pause. Uh, congratulations, you exercised the worm spirit. Heck yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, uh... Bite it. 
It it's an Azuri Kakamakube. <laughs> and it disperses its back back to Malpheus with it. And then Sawpaws will use the rest of his movement to jump into this bush. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. And he's gonna howl with triumphant that his little brother is such a proficient fighter. I only get one attack, but I make it count. <laughs> well, well, it's um time for a more competent enemy to uh, take over. Uh, Lev the hunter is gonna look at you, Ursula. He's gonna okay. ba- he's gonna back up to get himself a better point of view and a little bit more safety. He pulls out two handguns. Oh dear. Oh. It's one shot. Oh my god, the ones. They jam up. Let's see. Uh... Second shot. What? Bro, your yeah. dice are fucking busted. Why? Yeah. <laughs> King, King, what was that you were telling me about dice rolls that I do? Oh my god. Yeah, I, right tell, I, I tell you the story about stuff that goes on in my game. You ask, how did you player survive this? This is how. Oh my good I lord. I don't actually even think I need to dodge that, do I? No, you don't. I think the second pretty- one you do, maybe. Well, actually, no, do you? Uh, well, definitely, definitely six. Okay, yeah, 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 you do. You got one success. Yes. Yeah. Dodge one. That's uh, Ursula, Dexter, and Dodge, difficulty six. The first one jammed up. Uh, behold, it's just enough. Oh, okay. Let's see. Because this guy's trying to shoot you. Uh, and that's it, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, who else shows up? Spectre, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's see, there you are! Beautiful little dog, we're going to attack you. Uh, Alright. see. With Flex. Oh, pull, up what fl- pull up what Flex does. We're going to make you rot rapidly. Oh, shit. Let's see. Behold, happy birthday. Alright. So resist is soft pause. We want to need a permanent willpower roll from you. Difficulty seven. All right. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. Difficulty seven. <laughs> All right. All right. So soft pause. Now I need a uh, stamina roll from you. Stamina. Difficulty seven. Uh. Uh. St- just straight stamina. Yes. All right. Difficulty seven. Uh, soft pause. You begin to feel your heart stop. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> as this man, as you are now suffering from the heart attack status condition. <laughs> but alrighty, you are now dropped to the heart condition. It's a hurt. Right. hurt. Yeah, the hurt condition. It is is very alarming. We got children having heart attacks. <laughs> Just let yeah. it go scared you into a heart attack. <laughs> Man, Six, I could have made this guy so much more worse in combat. Six. 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 Val- Valerie, do you have a ne- no I want no, I want the ruler. Okay. Yeah, you got enough range for this. Let's see, he managed to get some pathos back between sessions. Outrage it is. Oh, very good on his part. That's gonna hurt. Let's see, and this dude is gonna try to dodge. No, you will not be dodging. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of silly that a Wraith has a, rate, a, a stamina score at all. Eh, I understand yeah. what you're gonna say. It's, it's like, what was it? Does a ghost get tired? All right. Let's see, upon taking that damage. As Valerie seemingly uses the force and begins to strangle this ghost. Nice. All right. Top of the round, Ursula, your move as I change the song. Okay. What kind of shape is this dude in? Does he still need more beating to go down? Yeah, he he could use a little something to top him off. Okay. I'm going to coil my whip about his neck and then rip start him like a lawnmower. All right. See what we do. Give us the whip. All right. Let's see, the, the, the fucking hoe. There it is. There it is. That hits. And nice in turn, 
in terms of your damage. Yep, that kills him. Good shit. All right. As he disperses off to the labyrinth with you. Mm. Okay. Here, uh, Val, that's Val, you are steering over this. All right, off to Lev. All right. Do you have to attack him? Ah, uh, sure, why not? All right. He's a human, he'll bleed out. Easy enough. He's a human. Yeah, he's a human. As you're looking uh, at him, no teeth, no, no nuth on him. You don't see him breathing. You're oh, a little bit too distracted by the minute details to land your hit. Apparently. See, yeah, Ur Ursula. It's been a while since you've out and out killed a human. You're kind of you. You don't like doing it either. You're, you're apprehensive to it. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. Kendi, your move. Uh, seeing that, seeing Softpaw stumble after coming across the wraith, he's going to feel a sense of righteous indignation, go five and then ten feet, line up a shot with the wraith here, and gun him down. Uh, see his shots go off. All right, uh, decks and firearms. So that is going to be... Take some firearms, plus one from fetish weapon, uh, right. minus one difficulty from Apecraft's Blessing. Uh, what is my difficulty? Your difficulty to shoot is six. Six, gotcha. He's in the bush. Nine successes. Oh, well, oh my dead. god. Righteous indignation, baby. I, I don't think I can roll high enough to dodge this. <laughs> I, I can't. No. <laughs> Uh, that is, um, let me see here. Yeah, uh, dex plus... Oh, wait, yeah, that would be seven damage because I get plus two dex from Krynus form. So that's one, two, three, four, five. No more than five with the bonuses, right? Yes. Okay, so five plus two. Yeah, that is seven aggro damage, but that's a three, so that's down to four, right? Or... Yes. You shoot this wraith. Actually, yeah, yeah that's, he's that's a crit and then a one. So that's him. a messy crit. So yeah, yes, it's two, two that he's soaking. Uh, how's he looking, that wraith? See, he's fifty percent. Fifty percent. I'm burning a rage. I'm getting rid of him. Uh, he, I... he he hurt Kakama Kobe. I can't have that. I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna hit him again. You wonder why the wor the worm hasn't won? It's because his minions are not the, the strongest. Okay, one more. Dex and firearms, plus one pool mod, difficulty six, fire. Six All successes. Alright, right. see this. This is going to be the highest you roll in your entirety of this channel's history. Yes. No, there was that time in Warhammer where I rolled like eight, rolled like eight tens in a row. You will not be dodging? Let's see what we got. I'm so excited to play Imperial Maledictum with you soon, Kyle. Uh, Hold on, do I get a... No. Aw. I, I keep recon... Jesus Christ! Alright. He's still alive! Oh my good lord, I have no more rage to burn. I'm really That's... mad about that now. Alright. Well, well, Valis, he's so much um, competent. We, we will... But when he when he's fired, when he comes back from the labyrinth, we'll, we'll we'll be a little bit nicer about it. I sigh very deeply because of unlike everybody else, they have a they. It's pretty little catchy for race to I mean specters to come back. Most of the time, we don't. Is you like it in the labyrinth? You like this sh shithole? Uh, Zamir is looking saying, if you're not going to kill him, I'll do it for you, Kendi. Please. Please right. kill him. Alright, dexterity and melee. Let's pop that off. Difficulty. Yep. Nice. Let's see. There it is. Let's see. And. This... Yep. And. It feels like it's pointless to do that. Yeah, he's gone. Kenny's gonna uh, look at him. Fuck, seek! Have to little Buddha! Is he's gonna look around? Uh, 
Behold, your cause the heart attack has stopped um soft pause, but now we just gotta get started again. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah I am so pissed. It's... All right, who, who's next in this? Uh, Vale, your move. Think about this. this mother of fucker, right? Yep, yep. Time to fucking leave. It's time to get out of here and let the minions handle this shit on their own. Yeah, seeing as um, no, there's no more specters, so I can't t t uh, tell it, uh, mentally tell them to fuck off. They all died before the turn before I told them to mentally fuck off. Yeah, well, no, there's one of them still standing, but he's like all the way to fuck over here. Yeah, the, the, the human. The oh, human. Oh, he's just fucking specter? Yeah. He, he's, he's Bane possessed. Oh, uh, mine's only worth the specters. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. So yeah, your, your two, yeah, your two specters are gone, and it's just veins around here. Yeah, my character just slips into the water and just disappears away at that point. Uh, let's see. Do you hear a splash? The soft pause there went. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, my friend. I gave myself gills. I am deep underwater, and you... I do not try to fucking swim in the, the water, water in the Shadowlands. Do I would not try. recommend swimming in the Tempest water. All right. Is there? There are many things in the water of the of Sigia that we still don't know what all is in there. I mean, uh, Gojira was in there, and he got in a fight with with Sharon. Yeah, my character is so pissed. He he, he might try to get a tenderler hound. A tend a tenderler hound. <laughs> we'll swim all the way down to the bottom of the abyss and pull out something. I'm going. I might be pissed enough to just to grab one and drag it up to the drag it up to the shuttle land. It, it works with Lasombra. Can work with us too. I will yeah. shoot that oh, too. It will matter. Yeah. Right. Let me let me see if I remember this tenderloin hound right. Yeah, no tenderloin hounds are disgusting. So tell us about it. Uh, let's see here. They breathe aggravated fire damage, and they are howls inflict negative on your dice rolls. Which is fantastic. I'm gonna crumple up two cigarettes and stuff them in my ears. There it is. Now I'm just one short. And they have five dots in fucking um, angst. No, hold on. Yeah, no, they have five dots in angst. Uh, no, they have five dots in outrage. That means they I can will... throw a fireball at you. Right. Well, goodbye, Lev. He's dead. Yeah. As. You just see, uh, you just hear pap, pap, pap as Ivan shoots his gun and, um, well, well now, he, he's dead. And, and with that, that, uh, technically concludes combat as Vale, you escape. Yep. Yeah. Fuck all of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried being better? <laughs> No, because he didn't think. No, no. What is he thinking? He he just as he's just swimming down. He's like, yeah. Well, I should have expected they were a bunch of werewolves. Of course, they were going to tear into a bunch of fucking shit. See, not not to worry. We still got um some some reinforcements coming this way. Are we still yeah. in initiative? No. Yeah. Uh, Kendi, after seeing that, is going to rush over to uh to soft paws. You are mo you right, Kakamakobe. Uh, is Papa still having a heart attack? Yes, we'd like to perform CPR on him. Yeah, yeah, Sopas ain't looking good. I'm gonna quickly gesture for Zamir to come over. All right, let's see, Zamir's gonna start coming this way. Yeah, let me look at Flex. Flex. All right, Zamir's. Ah. Oh, you fucked him up. <laughs> yes. As we might have some residual damage after this. Roll 8 to 10. Let's see. Zamirath is... See, well, apparently veterinarian knowledge. Soft pause, we get your heart beating again. Oh, yeah. See. But, soft pause, I regret to inform you, you have lost uh, some months off your lifespan. Ah. Uh. 
You have lost three months off your lifespan. Damn. I would like to search the human's corpse. Let's see. This man is dead. You should take a look at him. It appears that what he was wearing... Well, that's how you know he's possessed. He was wearing only black jeans and a black sweater in the middle of the Russian steppe cold. All right. All right. Why are you going to come for us like that? It's... <laughs> you should start looking over it. He's got two guns, and... Uh, you're not a firearms user, are you? No. All right. You should take a look at this. Um, Kyle, you're a gun nut, right? Yes. All right, would you like to take it? What kind of guess this gun is going to be? Given we're in Russia and this is the 1990s, I'm going to say they're two Makarovs. It is indeed that kind of gun. Or, if you want to be fancy, because it's the 90s and 9mm are all the rage now, and the Eastern Bloc had recently uh, collapsed, then they could be CZ-75s, which you can modify to be fully automatic even though they only have a 12-round magazine. The, the gun that everybody used in Black Ops. Well, yeah, because they're fully automatic and they're fun. Yes. I know. I use them. It, just run around. Do you have no talent when you use that gun? Yeah, because it's, it's fun. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Hold up. What, do you, what did you put? No, 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 no. I was just looking more what you can do on five dots of outrage. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. Unless you have powers that can soak um, oblivion damage from the abyss directly, you just take right straight damage, aggravated damage to your heart. Yeah. This, this dude starts crushing you with the power of the force. Yeah, no, that's what the fucking hound does. This this it ignores soak damage unless you have something that is meant to guard against darkness destroying your soul. You you don't get to soak it. Uh. Ursula, these guns are more like the worm corrupted. We, we, we can't take the guns themselves without the right of cleansing, so we can just take the bullets. I, just need myself. I don't have a right of cleansing, do I? Don't I need uh, a point in rights to take that, or can I just learn that? Uh, you, you need somebody to teach it to you in that case. I should probably do that. Uh, Ursula, add 14 9mm bullets to your inventory. I'm sorry? And ask for anything else on him. You find a little bit of identifying information on him as you start flipping through his wallet. So you find him, it's like, um, Ursula, you recognize that badge. This dude was working with the KGB. Well, now the okay. FSB because it's no longer the Soviet Union. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's who this guy used to be. It seems that this was a uh, national sanctioned hunter that got possessed. After he failed an assignment. And in case you want to know what that badge looks like, I'm pulling it up as I speak. Let's see, posting it into the roll 20. There we go. This is the kind of man he was. Yep. All right. And Ursula, that's all the interesting information on him. If. If Vanya was here with us, he would have something very snide to say right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's um, very happy he just killed a government pig. Yes. Uh, Kendi is very, very concerned about how Softpaws is feeling. Softpaws, I'm okay now. See. Ursula can point of rage. Okay. Did Vanya have any cash in his wallet? Let's see. Any cash in his wallet? No money. Did not bring that with him on a hunt. Okay. You're, you get a point of rage because him being FSB, the Shellords consider everybody within the F FSB to be kinfolk. So you technically just got coerced into killing whatever you can. Oh, okay. As for the success of this fight, uh, your XP, quote unquote, when it comes to renown, each one of you, two points of glory. Oh, cool. Uh, that is Valor, then, I guess? Yes. Those are temporary Valor, I imagine? Yes. All right, we need to go brag to a Galliard. To cash all this in and get ranked up. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. 
do a look around. Vale, as you are off stewing in the in the water. So you can contact in your hive mind. Z. As you're, you're you're communicating with your telepathy, you're hearing another voice. Don't worry about that. I'll be the one to handle that myself. Myself. The fuck? My character's like, hold on. I don't. You are a spe How are you doing this? As you're going to hear, <laughs> I have. I have many powers. I'm speaking to you with mind speak. My character is giving me such the fucking side eye. Don't worry. I can handle werewolves. I know all their tricks and trades. Yeah. My character was very much so not happy because he was hoping he didn't actually have to call upon our fucking attack squad from, from the local specters, but he has it, to. You're, you're also right here. You're no longer needed either. I can take it from here. My character just pauses for a long moment. Are you sure? Am I sure? Mm. That you see that 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 ghost they're traveling with, the one in the red army uniform. Yes. Watch how quickly they fall apart once I snap his soul in half. If you say so. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> With that, you uh, you guys have the board. You may move at your own pace. Uh, given that I know that there was somebody to orchestrate behind all. The, well, actually, the I know my fetish says that the gun replenishes after one turn once out of ammo. Is there any way I can do that while there is still technically "quote unquote" ammo in the gun? Yes. All right, so how exactly would I go about that? You draw, you fire all of your bullets into the ground and then reload. Oh, uh, I thought there I could do like a cool animation, like I twirl, I twirl the magazine around and then reload it. It's just flip the gun in your hand like you're uh, part of a marching band. Well, not the whole gun. I just pull out the magazine, flip the magazine up in the air, and then reload it. <laughs> yeah, it's, but blow into it like it's an NES cartridge. Yep. Does anybody have a use for 14 9 millimeter rounds? You're, you're going to see Ivan turn his head and he's going to raise his hand. Okay, I'll give him the bullets. Jeez, he's very happy for more bullets. I As can't really put are... 9 mil in a 105, but if he has a handgun on him that I don't know about. He has a toker Oh, okay. He's biggie. He got twenty twos in his shoes. It's, he's got was it the um, the Mosin that got when he when he has it with him a Walther PPK the Tokarev and the AK forty seven. What the fuck? Why didn't he tell me about all those? The, because you weren't there when we killed Sebastian. Oh yeah, that's right. So he took Sebastian's guns when he killed them. Oh, huh. how about that? More things for me to imbue with more spirits. Oh boy! There it is. More, more fetish guns. We will have all the fetish guns. I will, I will untie all the webs and replace them with the spirits of Gaia. Yeah. Yeah. If, if Vale is you like the the monster in the Star Wars trash compactors, you're keeping it out of these guys from within the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just see me just swimming in the water, then look me, look down a little bit, then run like a bitch. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kendi's gonna look over at, uh, Zamir. Does your, uh, do your eyes see the Tempest ap approaching us? I, I, I see that up ahead, there's, uh, I, it's weird, I can, I can hear her voice in my head. That there's supposed to be structures further north that we can use to survive the storm. Yeah, we were still there. There's still corruption that must be rooted out. As Samir's going to keep his knives in his hand, and he's going to be on the move with the rest of the party. You know something I just remember? I was thinking about this. Remember the leech we meet, as a Michi. He named his, his, silver fly, his silver fang that he captured, he named it Hungry Eyes. And I just remember that was a song from a movie I saw when I was in America. It seems that he had a 
taste for uh, American cinema. I thought he said he didn't like Americans. Well, a lot of people tend to hate America, but they like their movies. Yes. I remember it. It was... I think it was called Dirty Dancing. Yeah, and I remember that song. Hungry Eyes. Yes, uh, that's the one. Well, I don't really know what we're talking about. I know more about um, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, I can talk about him. I didn't see a lot of Charlie Chaplin. I remember I was in France a few years ago. I think in 1982 I was. Yeah. And they had this whole film festival. They show the George Meyer film. Well, how how's that country looking now that... um. The Nazis are gone. Oh, it is beautiful. They go to this beautiful architecture. Bit too much weaver for my taste, but... The nice cities. Is, is Kendi remembering this man died in Russia in, in the late 1940s? You should see it. It is, it is nice to look at at night. They got a full tower all lit up. Ah, <sighs> well... It's good that it's managed to survive the war. Is you walk along and keeping an eye out. Soft pause, you're in this bush. Kika, where you at? in the bush. That man's muted on top of that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Do not be making me worry, Kika. <laughs> around it's all this dead stuff you're looking around is there anyone else give me a shoot i'm going to roll sense worm again just out of just out of safety at this point because it worked the first time i'm gonna i'm gonna hit that shit again perception and right. occult difficulty seven one two give me a roll occult one uh, yeah only it was only three good lord uh roll <laughs> and i don't think i get any perception from being a chronos form no i do not so yeah, perception and occult. Note to self, put more pips in that next time I get enough XP. Roll, that is 3d10. No, no. I am way distracted and that's a point of rage. See, as, as you do that, yeah, you get a point of rage, you're hearing about sounds like feedback static in your ears when you're using this worm. There, yeah, there's worm everywhere. It's all over the place. The deeper we go. Because you're to realize... What's get, what gave you those 20 pings? Stuff in the water is what you're worried about. We should probably avoid the water. Go uh. wide. Instead of going across this tree, bitch, we can just go clamp up this ledge. It is probably safer. <laughs> See, just get out of the way. And... Here, hmm. next thing I've got is one big damn combat encounter. But let's let me go. Ahead, let me get the conclusive scene up going. All right, we are finished with this map, and we proceed to here. Behold, the actual Red Army Hot. What are we thinking of this map, by the way? Ah, uh, I quite, I can't make heads or tails of it. It looks yeah. like the Dark Spire. Yeah, because yeah, as you step in here, what seems to be this, like, this weird sword structure is sticking out of the ground in the center of the area. Around you, you've got what looks like a bunch of different houses that have got this strange architecture. Well, it seems that the Wraiths Wraith have a thing for building black spires of everything as they go over here the houses a few forts a few manors for farming livestock pens did you take a look around was this place supposed to be teeming with specters where are the specters hmm. um i can tell you what one is that <laughs> i don't really trust this Tell you what, uh, since it's a new scene, can I roll sense worm one more time just to be safe? Yes. Okay. Feet don't fail me now. 
Let's see. Uh, difficulty seven. That's two successes. Yeah. No results. Candy, are they retreating or are they regrouping? Me? No, that's yes. me. Yeah. Or he asked me, but uh, you can decide both. if you like. Uh, mm, all right, hold on. Quick question. How how many specters are in the area? All Just right. give me a rough estimate. A lot or medium? Let's see. Each one of these guys will have a little specter next to him. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Nine more specters. Yeah, we're retreating. All right. Getting the fuck out of there. Not having anything to do with that. But there is one specter. Let me see. How many successes did you get in your set swarm? Uh, two, successes. two successes. You vaguely sense one more specter hiding in the distance. That's not Veil because you wouldn't have found him that easily. That's just one in the area watching it. Veil, to you, there is one more. One guy that's off to the side. You're with your Spectre Hive mind, you're sensing. There's one dude who's sitting just you, you know, he knows the Tempest is almost on top of him, right? That's crouched down with a bunch of Spectres shoved under his arm. Uh, Megadris is so much not in the happy mood because he was in charge of the local Spectres. Now he has to deal with fucking werewolves. He's not happy. Yes. Well, we'll we'll leave that maniac to his fate, right? I mean, he, uh, if he wants to die to a bunch of morals, he can die, right? Yeah. Besides, if the tempest gets here, they're not going to be able to touch him That's... without dying in the process. Because I looked at it, tempests do. Let me see, up to sixteen damage a turn. They'll fuck you up for life if you get stuck in that rain. Yeah, I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough um, stamina to soak that. Yeah. He's he's assuming he's gonna live. Long as no long as none of them trying to jump into the middle of a tempest. In fact, to all of you, you get that your typical um tornado testimony. It sounds like a freight train off in the distance. We should hurry. Find the place we should uh, dig in. Alright. Anyone who wants to ping where they're going, let me know. Who wants to ping where we're going? Well, where are we? Yeah. See. Where are you, as of right now, you're in the middle of this map, I'll say. At the base of the spire? Yes. And where is the... Okay, two questions. Where is the nearest shelter, and where is the most defensible shelter? Uh, it would have been the fort under any other circumstances if you weren't getting rained on. So looking at this, um, that it, the map is not up to scale. Okay. Uh, this is supposed to be like a, like a village map. Oh, God, please get real fast as you can. <laughs> so, that looks like a windmill. Mm -hmm. I should have taken a look at that. Um, let's see what else is here. This looks like what probably was a tavern at some point in somebody's life. Somebody willed a tavern into existence, and we also have a greenery. It looks, looks like two things you can hide in. I'm Tiki. Uh, we do half and half. Half in here, half in here. If one of us gets attacked, the other can cover from a distance. I think Vanya, you stay in one, and I will stay in the other. All right. As Ivan's gonna be all right with that idea. Let's see, Ursula, who are you going to be traveling with? Are you go? Uh, well, actually, Ursula, you're the alpha. Are you okay with this idea? I'm what? Sorry. You're so the was... alpha. Kidney's making that plan. I was thinking that, like, oh. we'll have the pack in two places right across from each other. So, if... Well, actually, if this isn't a scale, so yeah, maybe it might be a good idea to pick one or the other. Yeah. Uh, I would say we should stick together if at all possible. Yeah, you probably and to probably foot away. I, I don't think there's so many of us that we couldn't all be in the same building. So, there will be the granary at the top, and whichever one is easier to defend. Huh. Gotta take a pick. Pack Alpha, what do you think? 
Uh, what, what's this building? See, that would be the granary. And this is a tavern, we think? Yes. Uh, I'm leaning towards the tavern. All right. Granaries often have just plain slatboard wood walls. Yeah, yep. uh, undead bread. <laughs> All right. You start heading this way. Southpaws, did you just feel a drip on your shoulder? Yeah, Southpaws is going to look up. So you're looking over. There's no clouds. The entire sky is black. But you're feeling raindrops beginning to fall on you. And ah, shit, that one hurt. Yeah, Southpaws will. We need to get in. Yeah, as, yeah, Kenny, as you're walking, you feel a drop, drop fall on your shoulder. It feels like a hornet it just stabs you where that water drop hit you. We go to Hori. Uh, I'm going to sling my gun over my shoulder and shift into lupus form. <laughs> as you start running. Yep. I'm going to uh, just book it. Let's see. What form? Uh, Urso, just to shift forms? Lupus is the fastest, right? Yes. Okay. We need Actually, to get out of the rain. The dire wolf is the fastest one. Yeah. Uh, the, um, Glabro? Uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, no, Hispo. Or no, Hispo, yeah. Of. Hispo is fastest, isn't it? Yeah, we, we changed it yeah. around. Uh, Hispo moves 11 spaces, Lupus moves 12. Alright, so Lupus it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same. So okay, well, let me collect my two cents. Yeah, and with that, you're able to run into the, the tavern. The grain just... Wait, weren't we going to the granary because it was like a bit sturdier constructed? No, the uh, other way around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see, as you quickly run in, and that is where we are going to cliffhang it for tonight. Are you going to survive the tempest? Well, now that we got some cover. It's... Uh, actually, <laughs> yeah. All right. If it depends just... on how well did how well did the Iron Legion build it? Yeah. Well, the Iron Legion built it. I hope they did a damn good job. That's... <laughs> if that's not the case, I'm going to Apecraft's Blessing and I'm going to shore up the fucking, uh, shore up the defenses. That, sadly, that's not how it works. Damn it. Apecraft's yes. Blessing works on human things. All of this stuff is raw, either made out of a, a wraith or raw emotion. I'm sorry. Damn. Yeah, your, your, your building materials are each other in wraith. Okay. Yeah, somebody has to die a second time for something to be rebuilt, and you don't, you don't go anywhere upon a death like that. You just stay stuck as the object you returned into. Yeah, yeah. That, I suppose that's fair. Uh, yeah. I posted a link in game how much damage Maelstroms can get. Yeah, pull pull that up. Fuck I that, it Jesus. There we go. All right, we can cut it here for tonight with uh, Rich right. Coast Russia. Good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. All right, in. GN. Good night. All right. All right. Thanks for having me. Certainly. Right.